Yo, 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 what is up? How are you guys doing? Another beautiful day in the digital verse. And I am here to talk over your games. That's what we're going to do today. Monarch, what's up? Z said, Monarch, I am of the early variety, indeed. Z said, Devexium. Trille, yo. Junior Coffee God. James. Micro, you can absolutely play. All ranks, regions, and platforms are welcome to join up. You just click the link when you type exclamation point Discord, or if you're over on YouTube, you click the pinned comment where the Discord link is. Follow all the instructions in the Start Here channel. You can figure out how to get registered and how to get queued up. Queue's going to be opening here in just a moment. Rolling Puffin, what's up, man? When I get a chance, if I remember. Deepoke, what's up? Zeta, glad to see you hopping into the Discord. Indigo, how you doing? Great to see y'all here, Juice Lemons. Let's go ahead and open up this queue. What up, I dead? We're going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and begin. Get those queues in. Squiffy and Crucio, what's up, guys? Good to see you. Good to see you back. We're going to hit that queue pop quick. Lots of people in the queue today. And we've got our first six players already popped. We got Scrapplin, Knot, Squiff, The Boss, Indigo, and ZSAD. Hit that ready button for me. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get that first game underway. This might be the quickest we've ever gotten into a game. All right, lobby's up. Get on in here. Yo! What's up, dudes and dudettes, folks? Hope y'all are doing well. Turn that down just a little bit more. There we go. Is the boost meter thing in the game yet? No. Uh, I don't remember when the, up the updates drop. I, it's either Tuesdays or Thursdays. I can't remember which day. Or watch me be wrong. Watch it be Wednesday. Uh, but it should be this week. And for some reason, I can't hear anything. Can you guys hear? Can you hear the game? Thanks. Were you or were you able to hear the game rather? No audio. Yeah, I don't hear it either. Uh, all right, everyone, stay in lobby. Hang on. We're just going to reboot Rocket League real fast. Sometimes it boots without any audio because uh, I blame Windows. Everything is Windows' fault, always. All right, we're rebooting. Yo, Stompa with a tier one sub on a seven month streak. My God, there we go. Now we have now we have sound. Let me rejoin the lobby. Not create. Just want to join. All right, we are joining the lobby. There we go. Go ahead and reset that, wait for everyone to get in, and then we'll be good to go. All right, we got all six players. Let's go ahead and start. All right, that is much better. I can hear the game in my ears. And I forgot to put up the caster HUD and update a couple of things. We're a little off to start the day. There we go, all right. We got on blue. We have Smalls, uh, Champ 3, A Knot, Champ 2, and Scrapplin, GC2. On the other side, Indigo, Champ 3. Big shot from Indigo to score. 30 seconds in, he gets the go ahead touchdown field from the boss. And a clean touch right off the corner. Good power. Official Smalls was not ready for it. 
And that puts Orange in the lead, 1-0. Indigo, champ three. Z Sad also champ three. And then the boss leading the pack here at GC1. So we got a GC on both teams. Scrappling the GC2 versus the boss GC1. And then a gaggle of champions. Not Squiff, Indigo, and Z Sad. All six players have played in blue versus orange before. It's good to see Indigo back playing some games. I think it's been a minute since we've seen them. The boss is here almost every single day to play, as well as not Scraplin. Smalls, usually a daily driver. We haven't seen him in a little bit. Nice to see you back as well. Z said also a daily driver here on blue versus orange. But so far, blue have not been able to break out of their own half. Z said pushing forward as orange keep themselves set up and locked in. Everyone's stuck on the backboard. Blue are managing well enough. Let's try to jump underneath him. He's got the challenge over one. Scrapplin. Oh, Zsad actually abandons the wall. But no challenge. Smalls with the flick trying to break out as he gets a demo. Not gets two touches off the wall, but Zsad cuts Smalls off before he can get the rebound. Well, Smalls back over to Anant. Could not quite get it going. Blue have not been able to shake the ball out of this corner. Good job from Orange. Locking down these touches. Playing it away from the attacker in the midfield. The boss lands with a wave dash. Keeps it two touches in front of the box. Dangerous play. Zsad had driv uh, drove a little too close to the net. Wasn't ready for that follow-up touch. Indigo controls and somehow got his way right into the net. Indigo. If everybody's sitting back scrappling with no boosts, what can you expect from them? Not going up the same. Someone's got to go for the ball. Somebody go for the ball. Hey, Breas, how you doing? Great to see you. We are doing well over here. Smalls. Nice air dribble, but not misses the pass. And that will allow the boss to move back out. So what's going on with scrappling? Oh, God. All right. Scraplin was pinging out. Oh, Scraplin, I didn't see your Twitch message. Let's go ahead and have you just leave the game, come back. If it doesn't work, then we'll uh, just have to finish out your game for you. See if rebooting his game will do it. Open qualifiers start this weekend. The uh, or the roster lock has closed, so you can look on Start GG, see all the teams that are signed up. Complexity signed up with Diaz in South America. Dignitas signed up with Stizzy in North America. Dignitas haven't announced their roster yet. All right, we got Scrapplin back. Thank you. That was not too long. Let's go ahead and restart from the kickoff, and we'll continue playing. All right. So, so far in this game, Blue have had some struggles getting the ball on offense. Well, poor Scrap when he's still... Oh, looks like his ping may have stabilized there. What's up, Esperdo? How you doing? Oh, nice touch from the boss. He'll get it right by. I did not catch the Wings game yesterday. I did not. Indigo to the boss. And an open net. Nobody back for blue. So we'll see what blue have in the tank here in the final two minutes. But so far, really great job from the boss. Leading the push on a lot of these plays. Indigo. Getting those two goals from earlier. From a great shot from a pass from the boss. And Zsad also really filling in the gaps nicely. And yo! Booma, thank you so much for the raid. 
I hope you had a great stream. Can we get a shout out to Booma RL? Big shout outs, man. Hope you had a great stream. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What's up, X Troll? <laughs> you brought you brought the gang over. Welcome, gang. My name is Jorby. Uh, I have been casting Rocket League professionally for about eight years. I was an RLCS uh, was an RLCS caster for seven of those years. And I do this little thing, blue versus orange, which are glorified viewer games. You queue up and play, and I cast over it. That sounds like something you'd be interested in. All ranks, platforms, and regions are welcome to join and play. You just have to join up in Discord. Use an exclamation point Discord in Twitch chat. And you can follow the instructions in the Start Here channel in Discord. You can figure out how to get registered and how to get queued up. We'd love to have you. We've had as low as we've had actual bronzes play the whole way up to SSL. We have encompassed the entire spectrum here, which I think is pretty cool. Big touch up off the backboard. Blue getting completely shut out in this game. The boss drills the ball right in front of the box. Nobody gets the touch, though. Smalls right down the gap. He had Scrapplin as an option on his wing. Didn't have to take that. Feeling the pressure. Just going for the clear. You can understand why they feel that way with how much Orange have been pressuring them. It does look like Blue may just get shut out. Even if they get one more goal. And pushed up high here. A knot. Got the grab, and that's going to do it. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. As always, guys, thank you so much for playing. Of course, Legend, you've always been one of my favorite commentators, and you have a great stream, man. Hope you have a wonderful day. Yo, Boomer, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. You have a great rest of your day as well. All right, let's go ahead and get the next lobby going. That is an orange win. And we pop the next players in the queue. That would be Dreezy, uh, Mimi, Womp Womp, Crucio, Dusk, and Opato. Hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. We have three Europe, but one U.S. West, so we're going to stick U.S. East for this one. How's the stream going? We just started. That was our first game of the day. Good start, I'd say. All right, y'all lobbies up. Get on in here. Yo, Asukos, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. You get access to the greatest animated demos on Twitch and ad-free viewing. If you don't believe me, Jorbiters, show them the Jorby pumps. We got four players in the lobby right now. Fifth coming on in. All right, we got all six players. Let's go ahead and start the game. On blue, we've got Fengsi, GC2, Mimi King, Diamond 2, and Dreezy, Champ 3. On the other side, we've got Dusk, Champ 1, Crucio, Champ 2, and Pato, oh, Pato or just Pato, GC1. So you got, again, very similar makeup to the last series with a... Diamond on blue. Dreezy Chomp got to score first. I don't know if Dreezy has played before in blue versus orange. If this is your first time playing here. Welcome. Happy to have you with us. Great shot to start the game. Dreezy the champ three here on the blue side. Yeah, you got two champs and a GC1 on orange. But then high card GC2 on the blue side with diamond two in Mimi King. Blue start the scoring. Orange start on the blue half. With a couple of testers off the corner wall. Dreezy has to make the first touch. Pato's shot denied. Dreezy gets there in time. 
uh, Dusk flings the ball up, but a very tight rotation for Orange. And no threatening shot on net. That one a little more threatening, but high. Uh, Dusk takes that one high as well. Too slow. Fengsi easily carries it out. But actually loses control of the ball. Awkward position for Blue. Dreezy, the ball gets away from him. Right back to Crucio. The two commit from Orange. Uh, Dusk ends up putting it off target. Pazzo looked like he had a better angle on it. But the double commit will net zero goals for Orange. They have to retreat. Get a couple of 50s and reset. They're going to do that with a free touch. Fink, Fengsi plays it down and follows it up. Good follow-up challenge, but couldn't land favorably on the wall. Had to abandon the play. Dreezy with the touch. Mimi King tries to get up quickly. Good try from Mimi King. Try to hold Pato down on the midfield line. At least force Pato to go to the corner. And another good touch for Blue to get it out. Pato with the flip stall. Doesn't matter. Dreezy Chan takes it away. Big boom back the other way. Fengsi trying to hold the line and buy some time for his team to recover. They have. Free pop. Oh, Dreezy, he thought he hesitated. But he had it. He definitely had Crucio beat. Crucio hadn't gotten up immediately, and he's just stuck on the wall. Mimi King can't get off the wall. He goes up high. I don't know why he's up here. What are you doing up there? Coming down. You got to get down there. Make the save. Not able to get there in time. Not your first time, Dreezy. My bad, dude. Well, thanks for coming back. Yeah, there was no threat coming towards the high backboard. And Mimi King didn't really know what to do. Yo, Apex, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. I've been doing good, Scrappling. And a high ball out to the far side. Fengsi. Big challenge the other way. Mimi King coming through, but it's knocked down field. Dreezy lets the ball come to him. He has a little bit of space. Fengsi does not care. He wants to move quickly. That kicks out to Mimi King for free. Trying to avoid Pato. Pato lets it come back. Flips it over one and booms it back to the corner. Forcing Blue to go back, having to play more defense. Free ball for Dreezy Chan. Interesting to go for the control... When he only had about 40 boost in the tank, I absolutely would have just went for a tester shot there. Got to think about your resources when you go up for those air dribbles. Just push right back up. Blue have been holding on to the midfield line, but it's slowly going away. Ball rolls back to their corner. Fengsi loses control of the ball, tries to recover, pass to Mimi King, and makes contact. Great work being an option for Fengsi on the recovery from Mimi King. Not bad for the diamond, too. Dreezy Chan, no touch for him. Fengsi wisely lets the ball come back to his own half. Create a little bit of space, but Orange start to press. Here comes uh, Dusk on the challenge. Drops it down. High touch from Pato. Crucio in the air. One touch. Crucio misses the second. Rebound comes across. Fengsi will push it right back over to the side. And Blue will get out of their own half after a dangerous opportunity from Pato. And his teammate, Crucio, they could not get that game-leading goal. Now Dusk is getting bumped off his wing. Crucio not going to get there. Mimi King looking pretty solid in the rotation. You know, we've watched Mimi King play a lot of games over the course of his BBO career, if you will. And this has to be one of the better games in terms of rotation that I've seen from him. And not in a low-level lobby for someone like Mimi King. Fengsi will actually dice the orange defense through the midfield. And he's got the lead for the blue team. Very aggressive challenges from orange there. Crucio, he played an aggressive third. Was relying on the second man to get that uh, touch. Who was that? Was it... I don't know if it was Dusk or Pato that was second man there. I believe it was... I don't know who it was. I was looking at chat to see if they would have uh, would have said, but very aggressive, needless to say. Risk management needs to be efficient, especially late in the game. Crucio, light touch. Pato gets the 50, but he loses to Fengsi. Fengsi's been real difficult to beat. He's been able to move the ball quickly out of their own half. And Orange got one last try. Crucio tries for the soft touch. He gets through one, but it bounces through the middle after Fengsi gets the save. And uh, Dusk, he was nowhere near the play. Fengsi gets out for free, 
and the ball it stays up. Dreezy gives Orange one last chance, but Orange are having to play catch up to the ball and it drops to the ground. GG's, give it up for all six players in the lobby. Is there a qualification or an organization to join BVO matches, or can you be a D1 in a high champ GC lobby? It's first come, first serve in the queue, so you'll be playing with a variety of ranks. No guarantee on what ranks you'll be playing with. It all depends who's around you. But all, uh, all ranks, regions, and platforms are welcome to join. We always play on majority server. Uh, tie breaks decided by either uh, the longest like if it's like three europe two us east and one us west it'll be us east just try and make it playable as possible for everybody we got our next six players ready mr lull 5000 ethan all good iron victory ionic tom and checker 101 hit that ready button for me please and thank you i got five of you already ready and ethan all good has hit the ready button beautiful let's go ahead and set it up All right. Lobby's up. Get on in here. Of course, the uh, of course, the Takishi. Welcome to Blue versus Orange, man. Happy to have you here. Welcome to Jorbit, I guess I should say. All right, we got Ethan all good in the lobby, just waiting on one more. Looks like we're waiting on Tom, and there he is, Mr. Potato Soup. Beautiful. Well, let's get started. On blue, Mr. Lull 5000, champ three. Iron victory, GC1. Ethan all good, champ one. On the other side, we've got Checker 101, champ one. Ionic, GC2, and Potato Soup, champ two. So again, the first three games of the day have all been the same in terms of the uh, splits. Well, uh, no, the last one had a diamond, but this one is a GC1 versus the GC2. And then a gaggle of champs. touch out for orange looking for a breakout checker trying to run with the stealth mode he's got a hard hit off the back wall potato soup he responds with another touch ionic gets there quickly and orange jump on top of the challenges to retain some pressure but a little too far rotated forward they're lucky that blue didn't get a boomer down the field but they do get some space orange give them all of the space starting to pull off hard touch two one from ethan He's not able to get there. Oh, you've been in here? You just saw it last time you watched, and you were like, that's so cool. That's awesome, uh, Takeshi. Glad you think so. It's a good time. Checker. Could not keep it going. Ethan all racing towards the boost. You know, minor note for Ethan all good. You don't need boost when you're already going supersonic. Might as well save that for when you actually need it. But it bounces up high, and Checker It's a nice touch. IVG is there. Everyone in the lobby has played in blue versus orange before to varying degrees. Nice touch from IVG, one of our more consistent participants, and very reliable in the rotation. I think one of our better players at playing with ranks underneath him really knows how to know when to give his teammates space. Knowing when to come in and bail them out. He's got a good sense for it. And a good sense to let his team be a part of the play. Mr. Lowell 5000 and Ethan all doing a good job retaining that pressure. IVG had to make another save. Quick shot from Checker. He gets the tip in in front of the box. Now Blue, they couldn't lay their chips down in time. IVG, not the best clear. And Ionic takes advantage of it. Ethan all tries to catch Ionic's pass. 
but it slips through him, and Checker got himself a nice goal. Said the bump meta is real in our lobby. I love how people call bumps the meta. And I feel like bumps have been an integral part of the game for many years at this point. There was a point in time where demos weren't as prominent. Bumps were not as prominent. But honestly, if you ain't bumping, you're not utilizing every aspect of the game. It should always be a bump meta. Yo, Jake, thank you so much for the tier one sub on that three-month streak. Love seeing that. What's up? Reset. A. Eh? Okay. Ionic pops it up. Potato soup. Good launch, but was not able to make contact. Uh-oh. Blue missed the first read, but IVG falling down onto it. Gives Mr. Lull 5,000 a chance, and his challenge is knocked away. The ball will slip through. Blue will let it run the whole way back to their own half. Try for the clear out. Mr. Lull 5,000 takes it out. Potato soup back over to the side. And Orange continue to thwart any try that Blue get in their half. Here's another try just launching it downfield. Hoping for IVG to make a play, but someone's got to be ready for his touch. Ethan Allgood was playing deep. Very defensive. Eventually, Blue are going to have to start taking a couple of risks. Here might be the first one. Ethan Allgood. His shot denied. Not as much a risk there as his teammate was coming back. Very safe play. Uh-oh. Touched out to the side. Ionic keeps the ball away from Blue. Boxes out Ethan all good. That gives Checker a free touch, and he's over the defense, but Mr. Law 5000 dove back over the shoulder to make the stop. And he gets the challenge downfield. Checker too heavy of a touch. Ethan misses the ball, and that would have been a huge touch. IVG, he was right there playing close on the wing. It would have been contested, but there would have been a real shot on net from Blue. They got to try again. They've shoved the ball away from Orange, but they gave it right back in the midfield. Potato Soup lost the ball, and now it's a battle for who can just keep the ball tight and get some consecutive touches in front of the box. Go! Oh, Checker dunks them! And Checker king him. 37 seconds left. Great touch from Ionic. Forces Ethan to stretch, and he can't get a handle on the ball. Orange with 37 left in the tank. Just may win the game. Again. Blue. They got downfield. But then it came to shot opportunities. They got two. One of those wasn't a great one. Oh, Ethan. Moving. It's not over for Blue. They just need to go with time left. IVG, a desperation dive. And he's nowhere close to Ionic. Mr. Lowe gets a nice 50, though. IVG still coming back. Potato Soup getting out of the way. Ionic's all by himself in the corner. And that's going to waste all the time left on the clock. I'm going to do it here for the orange team against blue. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Pop the next six players in the queue. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, you know what? Hey, I appreciate that, Waffles. Thank you so much. All right, we got Blanco, Craterade, ready to go. I need Puffin, uh, Dino, Devexium, and Junior Coffee. Hit the ready button for me, please, and thank you. If you want some of my thoughts, Mimi, go back and watch that game. I did give a couple of comments about you there. All right, I got four people ready. I still need Dino and I need Dino and Junior Coffee. Last call. I got Dino. Last call for Junior Coffee. All right, we'll try again in a couple of games. I can't claim not having boost when I whiff the ball. I don't think I ever do that. I just say I'm bad. All right, replacing Junior Coffee will be 
Ruh. Ruh, go ahead and hit that ready button in the active match channel. Once you see, and let's get you in here. Bruh. Level up. Oh my god, IVG dropping 10 gifted. 110 total, dude. You're absolutely maniacal, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, IVG. Appreciate your continued support to the channel, man. Love that you play in these. Always a good time. All right. I see that death is at the ready button. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and create this lobby. Level up. Lobby's up. Let's go. The update is not out yet. No. That gives 10 of you wonderful people the greatest animated emotes on Twitch and that sweet, sweet ad-free viewing. Level up. The feeling is mutual, IVG. Everyone's hopping into the lobby and we'll get going. I'm not going to lie. I am so ready. So like uh, De Devin said on Reddit that in, when you're spectating a game, you can see all the you can see all the boost on the nameplates. I am so ready for that, dude. Like, that is gonna be because like, here's the thing: having the boost totals on the sides, like on like program feed and stuff like that, when you're casting, is great. But you have to look away from the action, and I hate that because like you literally could miss something at any point in time, even if you like look really quick. Uh, but like having it on the player, it, like being able to see it in spectator, dude, that's so nice. That's going to be so nice for this. Cause like, we don't have the boost counters on the sides, right? Now we don't need them. That's going to make commentary so much easier, man. All right. We're waiting on one more. It is Dino. Once Dino's in, we Dean go. Get it? Dingo. Dingo. Yeah. Wait, where's the Vexium going? Get back in here! Do I think that casters could be replaced by AI in the future? Uh, I think that it would be very, 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 very far in the future. All right, we got him here. Let's go. I'm sure that you could do the, the blandest, most boring, and uh, nonsensical commentary now, but it wouldn't make any sense. All right. On blue. We got Craterade. Getting the first goal of the game. Craterade. Dropping a roller down the center of the field. The champ one of the blue squad slips his way right through. On his team, we've got Dino, or Puffin, excuse me, Diamond 3, and then Dino, GC1. On the other side, we've got Blanco, Diamond 2, Death, GC1, and Devexium, champ 2. So a GC, a champ, and a diamond on each squad. And... These definitely can be some of my favorite matches. It forces the high rank to really adapt to his team with two different tiers of skill. It forces the low rank to really think about how to play in the lobby. And I think, you know, the mid rank might... I think the mid rank has a harder time because the mid rank more times than not feels like they should be able to keep up with the high rank. But then them and the low rank will end up tying each other up or they'll tie themselves up with their high rank teammate. It's like sometimes it can be disastrous, but most times the team figures it out. And how about Dino? It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work. And Dino, he's a working man. Pops it up. He says, Who's the, who, who do I have to kill? There you go. Take him to the slaughterhouse, Dino. Do nothing. Orange back on their own wall. Death too heavy of a first touch, but he still gets through the midfield line. It's the response after that touch for Orange that's crucial. 
And right now you see Blanco playing in deep. He's the only guy back. Doesn't want to take a big risk on the challenge. And a light touch from Dino. Orange just give it right back. Puffin was in the area. Could not make contact. Oh, almost got the touch. Almost got the touch. We're all missing the ball. But as you know, around here we do have to. And he did not. Death, good touch, puffing a little too tight. Something that Orange might pick on if they see it a couple more times. Third man's lurking too closely when they don't have possession. A big boomer could absolutely crush your rotation. You always got to keep in mind where your team is in front. You don't want to get caught with ball vision. Dino has some help from Crater Aid, and the third goal goes in. It looked a little awkward. But they got the job done, and again, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work, and work it does again. Dino and Crater Aid. The co-op. With 2.40 left in the game, Orange have not been able to generate anything. Death, the only guy to take a shot on target so far. And I think that was a pittance shot as well, one that they were trying to retreat on. Blanco somehow... Shovels that ball out from two defenders. But they're not able to do much with the ball. Get to the 50. Comes out for free for Blanco. What's he going to do? He beats a, de beats a defender. Devexium in the air. Couldn't get any power. And it bounces easily for Dino. Who doesn't get the best clear. It looks so juicy that two commit. And Blanco and Death not on the same page. Dino is pre-jumped. Unreal. <laughs> Dino feeling ultra confident. But be careful. There is enough time for Orange to punish your mistakes. Of course, when Puffin's winning the touches like this, making it difficult for Death, that might be the entrance they have. Death gives way to Vexium. He skips on the ball and can't get the dunk on target. It goes back over to the corner. Death hanging on to it. Blanco couldn't get there. Death is cooking. And there's Blanco. He's trying to eat, but it's taken right back to the midfield. And he's going to be hungry for a little while longer. Minute 30 left. Orange have to rotate right back. Big clear down the field. Back to Blanco. Backside shot denied by Dino. Crater A takes the midfield boost. Dino takes the ball. Forcing Death back over to the wall. He's missed it. And that's a goal for Dino. You got to hit the ball in that situation. Dino has been lethal all game. Death gets frozen trying to get out to the rebound. And he ends up missing big time. With a minute 15 left. Four goals now for Blue. Orange still don't have anything in the offense. Puffin with the grab, dropped it underneath to Vexium and Blanco, combine their powers. Right now, the single powers have not worked. Here's a touch off the wall, trying to give some space, trying to give some free touches to Orange. They got a double commit out of blue. Puffin having that ball vision, can't tunnel in. Dino's got nothing here. Orange let it come to them. Blanco has to avoid Puffin, but he ends up giving it up. Oh, he almost got the dunk as well. Crater Aid was there to punish. Now a big touch just off the bar. Drops down away from the rotation. Low 50 from Devexium. But Dino came in and squirreled that ball right back to Puffin. Back to Dino to keep control. Blanco racing for it just for a single goal. Devexium trying to get the demo. Trying to get anything. But they're getting shut down and burned out. Blanco off the, crawl, off the corner. Back in. Backside. Death. Finds the net. And Orange can get some pick-me-up. Feely goods. That's a sentence. And so is death. Twelve seconds left. And that will do it. Good effort there from Orange at the end. They might get one more for the road. And... <laughs> All three players have to touch this ball before it goes into the net. Death comes around it. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> nice work. Let's see if they get one more. Just, just to see if they can do it. And that will... Crater Aid tried. He tried to give it to him. 
And that will do it. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Great effort from the Orange team despite going down. Pop the next players in the queue. You're going to do fine, Monarch. All right. Apex. Uh, 3D Sami. Or 3D Sam. Sorry, not Sami. Lol. <laughs> 3D Sam, Apex, Juice Lemons, Tall, DS, and... Monarch, hit that ready button for me. Got Monarch, Apex, Tall, D. Okay, we got everyone ready. Let's wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we got all three players or all six players ready. Lobby's up. Let's go. 18 stream streak. Let's go, James. Let's go. Thank you, Swaggy, bro. I appreciate you. What's up, Tall? How you doing, man? All right. slow going for everyone to get in here but they're slowly crawling in you and Blanco were chatting on switch oh you both are on switch nice you typed the wrong info yeah it was a tough uh, <laughs> it was a tough letter combination this one was I uh, I almost I fumbled it I fumbled reading it like two times before I understood what it was. All right, we're just waiting on. I believe 3D Sam. Nope, 3D Sam's here. We're waiting on Juice Lemons. Yeah, sometimes I will say unable to find, uh, but it's a dirty liar, and you just need to force it to work. What's up, Vanessa? How you doing? You can do it, Juice Lemons. Try restarting your game if that doesn't work. I hope the same for you, Vanessa. We're doing pretty well over here. All right, there we go. We got Mr. Lemon. Let us begin. On the blue side, we've got Apex GC2, 3D Sam, Champ 1, and Juice Lemons, Diamond 1. On the other side, we've got Tall, Champ 2, Monarch, Diamond 2, and DS, GC1. So again, another GC, Champ, Diamond combination team for both sides. <laughs> Yo, Skiz, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub. The Tier 1s are definitely special because they get us a little bit closer to that Partner Plus program in which Twitch will give us a little bit more of your hard-earned money that you so graciously give to this stream. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for all of the support, no matter what form it comes through uh, from everybody. Juice Lemons pops that up. Back over to 3D Sam. I believe this is 3D Sam's first time playing. 
in blue versus orange. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if not, welcome. Happy to have you here. Juice Lemons in mor in memori memoratorium, how you say it? In mem memoratum of Moist dropping their roster. Who knows what's going to happen? Maybe they sign someone. I don't know what's going on. That's a huge pinch. But just off target, Tall slips around one defender, misses the second touch. It gives Blue a chance to create some space. They had some space. A little wifty whiff. He gives Apex the room to work with. He's got a beautiful follow-up touch. And Apex gets his team right into the lead. Well, everyone from Blue faked out by the touch. And, oh, a little breezy on him. That's a nice little touch from Apex. Everyone in the lobby besides 3D Sam. Long-time players here, blue versus orange. I don't know what's going on with the director cam right now. There we go. Let's turn this up just a little bit. Let me know if that's not drowning out the voice. Apex getting around the touch. Monarch throws it back the other side. And takes away the boost as well. Juice Lemons... Maybe feeling the pressure, ended up giving up the touch, but he got the ball back, took control. Monarch takes the challenge. And Orange get back downfield. Apex landing with a wave dash after he got chipped, but got to the ball a little too quickly and only got underneath it. Yeah, tough to match that speed when you gotta catch up to the ball and then slow back down. Takes a lot of boost to make that work. DS. Touch out to the right-hand side for 3D Sam. Takes the ball away. Miss go down the field. Juice Lemons plays it back. Orange set up in the midfield. Apex flip into the ball, but he doesn't have any boost here. Tall gives him all the space to work with. Well, Tall missed an opportunity to steal Apex a boost. Sit closer to him as he came back. You know, you don't want Apex to just get down the field for free. You have your teammates rotated back. You try to take that challenge. At least try to starve them over that midfield boost and cut in on them. You can definitely be scared. You don't want to get... It doesn't feel good to get beat, but that's where you have to trust in your teammates. Sometimes getting beat is the play as the first man. You just got to make that defense... Uh, you got to make the ball carrier move. Make him do something. Don't just let him drive the ball down the field. Orange doing a bit better on those challenges, but Apex snipes the ball in the midfield, and he gets a headshot down the between the eyes, two to nothing, with a minute 31 left to go. Monarch, the missed touch, the entire rotation had the faith. An aggressive rotation, but Apex puts him home again. Oh, Orange, that one was looking juicy. DS couldn't get him set up. We do welcome back DS playing. Happy to see them back queuing up some games. And oh, he whiffed it, but Juice Lemons beamed it. But beans are on the menu. And he pastes the orange half with his goal. Juice Lemons. Probably icing this game for good. We'll see what happens in the final minute. Off the ceiling, Monarch. Touch out to the side. Apex takes control. 3D Sam playing headhunter. But DS bails his team out. Monarch gets a chance to get down the field. Avoids the bump. Whoa, the shot. Good idea. Very close on the touch. He gets it back to Tall. Tall makes a double move, and he's got the first goal for Orange. Now it may be a new ball game. Plenty of time on the clock for Orange to get this done. Tall comes quickly off the wall. All of Blue are stunned by the change in speed. Everyone was looking at Monarch. Everyone forgot about Tall. Next thing they knew, the ball was in the back of their net. Absolutely winnable. Tall coming up quickly. He's got a good challenge to commit from Blue. It's up to DS now. He's got to take advantage of that double. He's looking for Tall. Monarch on the wing. Tall's got the touch. DS comes out of the way. Monarch gets the challenge. DS is next back. What's he going to do with it? Monarch trying for a bump, but DS didn't have a lot of boost. He's trying to recover. Going for the bump as well. He's got the demo. Tall. He made his car long enough to get the 50, but Monarch has to catch back up to it. Orange just aren't. It, the timing isn't there. They're too far off on the rotation every time. 
They had the right ideas. But first man was always too, or second and third man were always too far away from the play. Tall now gets across. Oh, they got caught. Diaz can't get it in. Just saved by Apex. Last cry. Last hope for Orange. And it goes downfield back to the midfield line. That wastes the rest of the time off the clock. Good effort at the end from Orange. But Blue win the game. GG's. Let's pop the next players in the queue. All right, next up we've got Trille, Profiler, Jider, Caleb, Junior Coffee, and Mayo. Hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. Well, let's get going. Monarch, that was one shot you sized up really nicely. It ended up not being not being on target, but where you were aiming, it was very close. It was a, it was a very good try. But overall, I thought you guys looked really good. I think your biggest problem was that you guys were way too pass way too wide in your rotation. It, it threw your timing off. Could have been a lot closer. One, two, three, four, five. I got five players ready. But it was good. I'm not trying to say it was uh, it was terrible. I need Trillet to hit the ready button. Oh yeah, the pinch that uh, banged off the crossbar. We do need a GG emote. I agree. GG emote and a wear emote would be great. We'll get there. I've uh, we've been very much in transition after the move and you know just a lot of things that are happening and so we're just cruising along for now last call for Trille or we're gonna move you down Level up. all right ace you're next up go ahead and hit that ready button for me please and thank you yo rc summon a tier one on a six-month streak. That's crazy, man. Thank you so much for your continued support, RC. I appreciate it. I got uh, Ace ready to go. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and set up the lobby. Lobby's up. Let's go. Almost got everybody here. We're waiting on mayo. Once we got mayo, we got a sandwich. My laptop just froze. All right, Mayo. Appreciate it, dude. Everyone leave that lobby for me real quick. Replacing Mayo will be Imagine, 
Welcome back. Go ahead and hit that ready button when you're ready. You're all good, Mayo. Sorry your laptop froze on you, buddy. All right, imagine hit that ready button for me, and then I'll recreate the lobby. Beautiful. Lobby's up. What up, potatoes? How you doing? Great to see you back, dude. No one able to get into this? Did I type it in wrong? I think I did. Thanks. Mixed up the letters. All right, there we go. Get in there. There we go. Says, why hello, brother? All right, got all six players here, just waiting for them to join their sides, and then we'll get going. There we go, beautiful. On blue, we've got Profiler, Champ Three, Caleb, Champ One, and Jider. GC1. On the other side, we have Imagine, Champ 1, Ace, GC2, and Coffee, Champ 1. So, a GC and two champs. Those have been uh, two of our four, or one of our two configurations today. It's either GC and two champs, or GC Champ Diamond. So, well-balanced you guys queue up in, in the perfect order. It's crazy. Nice shot to start the game from Jider. As space opened up in the orange half. Caleb was the one to push it downfield. Coffee tried to delay him, and Ace is going for the boost. Oh, no. Don't go for the boost. Unfortunate. My dude was starving. Junior Coffee somehow... Gets the gift subs off while he's playing. Three gifted subs. Thank you so much for the support, Junior Coffee. That is awesome, dude. I really appreciate it. Caleb, big shot, and it's in. He put too much lead behind it. And Orange got hit with a cannonball shot at point-blank range. That didn't feel good. What a pass from Profiler. Absolutely stuffed. Imagine, what was he supposed to do? Nothing. Profiler got the perfect touch. What's up, No Chris? How you doing? Great to see you. Shade Kami, great to see you back as well. So Blue, open up the scoring. They open up the can. Imagine. Uh-oh. Ball got shoveled out. Do I know when the boost display? Uh, whenever Steam or Epic say update available for Rocket League. I don't know. I thought it was today. But it might be tonight or uh, later this week. It might be Friday. Who knows? Hey, not. Thank you so much for the gifted tier one as well. Blue are sending trebuchet shots down to the Orange Castle walls. And there's not much wall left over there. Caleb with a beautiful touch off the ground. I think it might have pinched a little bit off the ground. And Orange are just getting caught out. Caleb, nice shot. 
Orange, what's going on? Wait, the update's today at 5? You mean in an hour? Oh, it's at 7. Okay, 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 okay. I was a little worried. <laughs> Our Q might have got blown up from updates. But that's good. That means y'all should be updated by the time uh, Blue versus Orange starts tomorrow. Hard touch up. And Junior Coffee can't get there. Ace trying to mitigate some of the damage. He gets a couple of bumps. Imagine, not the worst touch in the world. It would have been better if he had a follow-up. Also loses, or no, he got the got the boost. Didn't look like he won it, but he did. Despite the pressure, Orange couldn't get back to the half, and they gave up the touch again. Orange cannot hang on to the ball to save their life. Try as they may, Profiler puts the hard one on, and imagine he tries to flip into that. If I'm imagine, I'm just trying to use that ball's momentum to my favor, but he flips behind it kills all the momentum of the ball if he lets the ball go into his nose without flipping he'll hit it out to the corner the ball will preserve more of its momentum but when you dodge into it from behind you're going to kill some of that momentum that it has going the other way a little thing right there for imagine he was definitely in a really tough spot trying to make that save and a nice touch again whoa profiler was trying to wave dash unsuccessful We'll see what Orange could do in these final two minutes, but Blue absolutely dominating them on both halves of the field. Profiler back over to his teammate, and they're just running this ball all over the Orange wall. Jider's starting to get harassed. Junior Coffee finds his way to Ace. Ace, light touch. Back to his teammate. Oh, whiff! Oh, yeah. Blue, they get out for free. It looked like that shot might have been the one to go in the net for Orange, and that's a, that's a tough one. Tough tries, and a whiff again. Trying to find it between the inches, and they don't even get an entire inch out of it. They don't even get the ruler out. Orange finally lay it back down for the measurement. Hanging in front of the box, looking for the result, but can't get the sticks down. The ball stays out of the net. Orange, most pressure they've had all game long. And Imagine gets it back out to Ace, Jider. Delays his approach. Coffee dives from the opposite side. And more pressure building. Trying for the dunk. He got the bump, but it's on the opposite side of Orange's rotation. And it will die down. Coffee can't get the touch there. And Blue get down the field. Good try from Orange. As much as the ball has flown over their heads, they had good pressure at the end of this game. Just can't find the secret sauce. That last touch. It's just a plain burger. And nobody on blue is buying. Ace gets the challenge downfield. We'll take the boost out and a huge whiff from Profiler. A gift from the blue team drops on their porch and they will take it 100%. Coffee swinging out wide, hoping a pass may come out. And he does get the touch. So 33 seconds left. It is effectively blue's game, but I do want to see how many goals orange can get. Because sometimes things just fall apart. They do force it. Ace, right in position, gets the dunk. Jider sitting back. He loses the touch. Ace has to get around it. Profiler's coming back, waiting for the shot. It doesn't come, and he dunks. Imagine getting the ball back to the midfield line, and it's off the post. He tried to recorrect, but he couldn't put it in. That would have been an insane touch from Profiler. He gets that goal instead, and that is going to do it. Great effort from all six players. GG's. We pop the next six players in the queue. That would be Powerful Lord, Tim, Mayo, TSM Random, Roro, and Thicky. Go ahead and hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. I got four players ready. Mayo, Thicky, Tim, 
Powerful Lord, all ready to go. TSM Random ready to go. I just need Roro. Last call for Roro. All right, no Roro. We're trying again in a couple of games. Replacing Roro will be Raven. Raven, hop on in to the Active Match channel. Hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you, and then I will get the lobby created. All right, Raven, ready to go. Lobby's up. Get on in here. You love what Mega Goals like Tall did on that one? It's always so deceptive, too, in that situation because everyone's looking at his teammate. No one's expecting him to cut and take the ball. It's super effective. Or it was a super effective cut, if you will. We have everyone slowly crawling themselves into the lobby. All right, we got Tim, Powerful Lord, Mayo here. We got Ashley, a.k.a. Crossbar is my friend. And we are just waiting on, I believe it is TSM Random. Raven played Powerful Lord in twos a few weeks ago on stream, and they're in the same lobby again. Nice. Uh, we are still waiting on TSM Random. Let's see what's going on. We're checking on them. There we go. He's here. No worries. No worries. All right. On the blue side, we've got Powerful Lord, GC2, Timgu, Gold2, and Raven, GC2. On the other side, we've got Mayo, GC2, Ashley, Champ2, and TSM Random, Diamond1. So two GCs and a Gold on blue versus a GC, a Champ, and a Diamond. Let's see how this one works out. We do welcome Tim Goo back, our resident gold. Nice move from Raven. Back to Powerful Lord to start the game. And they will strike first. This will be a tough duo for Orange to handle. Simil similarly, similarly ranked players. Why is that so hard to say so fast? Against a split. Granted. The third may be someone they can poke at, but Powerful Lord just keeps poking the net. Uh-oh, Mayo's controller died. Oh, no. Here. You know what we can do about that? We can put two seconds back on the clock or we're sitting that goal. And then it's already resetting the kickoff. There you go. Doesn't count. Unpause, please. All right. Simile? No, not simile. Simil similarly. 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 That's it's the L's. The L's are getting to me. <laughs> I 
Ashley looking for a way out. And gets demoed for her effort. A powerful Lord knocks it back to the opposite side. A nice touch for Powerful Lord to start. And Orange actually in a bit of danger. All of Blue pulled off on that play. That, that looked really dangerous for Orange. Blue didn't seem confident to take advantage of it. But Raven takes the first touch. Powerful Lord waits and able to throw it around. Powerful Lord sticking right in it in the optic decal. Mayo trying to be fast. Misses his read. Now big shot. Ashley's got the save up high. TSM random trying to get back. Whoa, a little zap dash. Didn't, didn't expect the speed up the wall, did you? Here's Powerful Lord. Back over to Tim Goo. Tim Goo holding it down for the blue side. That's all he can ask of him. Did his job fine there. Raven identifies the space. Oh, gets away with the pinch. Ashley tried to read it. Now Blue have a chance. Tim Goo gets in there. Powerful Lord recorrects his path and too heavy, too light. It was too heavy away from him and too light of a shot to work. Two Ashleys. Now Raven is Raven. And Ashley is actual Ashley. That ball cleared back down center field. And powerful Lord back over to Raven with the first touch. Leaves it for Lord. Dropped in front of the box. Easy save for Ash Ashley. TSM Random has a one-on-one. -on -one. Takes control. Powerful Lord got the blindside challenge. Raven comes up. Got the follow-up as well. And Blue get a little bit of relief, but not for long. Powerful Lord has to stay in front of the box. Mayo coming in to punish. Can't quite get there. And Raven will move the ball downfield. And break out again for the blue team. Orange had a couple of pressure opportunities. And were unable to come away with an answer to Blue's only goal. Raven, nice movement to get down the field. Tim Goo sizing up that aerial. The goal, too, almost put it in. And great job from Tim sizing up that read. Got a really solid touch on the ball. Ashley almost got it through, but Powerful Lord barely gets there in the nick of time. Raven will keep them out, but Orange are starting to feel it. Well, then a whiff happens. No one expected it. Hard touch from Mayo. Down the field. Mayo flips early. He ended up rolling on the wrong side of the ball. Oh, Ashley has to go backwards. Mayo is in the corner. Tim Goot. The ball challenged and knocked away by Mayo. But Raven hanging on to the midfield. We'll drop it down and almost got Ashley to miss it. But Ashley, just enough of a tip for TSM Random to get there in time. A bunch of chain dashes there off the ramp. Ashley up. Whoa! Mayo goes right through. Ashley playing the decoy in front of the box. You see her jump up. Really trying to go for the redirect, but still going to shade the defense. Trying to get up to that read. And a big shot for the orange side with a minute 18 left to go. Powerful Lord off the kickoff. Steals the tie game. And he takes the lead for himself. Just when it went right, it all went wrong for the Orange team. Weren't able to get there in time, and that one's not getting reset. Ashley getting down the field, but Powerful Lord knocks it away. Mayo with a hard touch. Raven is there to kill it. Mayo gets a decent touch. It's over Tim's head. TSM Random has tied the game. Oh, Tim Goo, he had the faith. He's rolling around like a Sunday stroll, but the ball's over his head. And Orange took a baseball bat to the blue net. Home run. Tie game. The catch out. Raven looking to get the lead right back. One shot. Two saved by TSM Random. Woohoo! Block the double touch. That's a jump and pray moment for sure. The Rocket Gods respond, and Orange almost find a way to take the lead. It was Raven and Powerful Lord dominating the early possessions, the early control. Raven puts that right back in for Powerful Lord, and he misses the shot. It's wide. Was accounting for Mayo. He over-accounted. Now Ashley. Tries to combine. Back to Mayo. Mayo with the slow pop. Off the wall. Taken away by Raven. Ashley's next up. Just has to buy some time for the, her team to get reset. She's got a reset. 
And it drops right down. A nice pop off the ramp. TSM Random. Not able to get the grab. As Raven puts it downfield. Could be headed to our first overtime of the day. But it's off the wall. Blue are not going to commit just yet. TSM Random gets one try down the field. Pass over to Ashley. Ashley off the board. Mayo's got the read and he can't put it on target. So close. Beautiful play from Orange. Just could not put it in. A close one for sure. And our first overtime of the day, a worthy one. But Raven gets control of the ball after Ashley fails to clear. Mayo gets boxed out. Only one back. TSM Random's got to be careful with this rotation. If Blue are looking at you, they're going to put that ball over your head. Raven putting it down. Whoa, Tim Goo. Tim Goo was feeling the force. Comes in and bumps his own teammate. Starting to feel anxious in this OT, and Ashley flies in for the killer! Orange come back and win the game! After Blue couldn't hang on to the ball, Mayo chips it right over Powerful Lord. Ashley with the quick second man shot, and that will do it. GG's, give it up for all six players in the lobby. Fun game, fun game. All right, pop the next players in the queue. We will move to Manfield Knight. You beat your controller. That's the best kind of win. All right, next up, we've got Roro, Exonym, Gipfelli, Bulby, Trille, or Trill, I believe, and Colin Bear 31. Hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. I got Colin Bear. I got Bulby. I got Exonym. I got Gipfelli. I need Trille and Roro. Last call for Trille and Roro. This is both of their second tries, so if they're not here on this one, uh, I will move them out of the queue. Are you better than before? You had some good plays, TSM Random. I never thought that you were uh, you were terribly bad. All right, we're going to remove Trille and Roro from the game. Replacing those two will be Eli. And the boss, Eli and the boss, you guys are next up. Shiver me timbers. Great game, Ashley. All right, let's see the boss and Eli hit the ready button and then let's game. Last call for Eli. 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 There he is. All right. Lobby's up. Let's game. Will I add U.S. Central? Yeah, if we have three U.S. West, three U.S. East. US East. Or I uh, might even do it for two U.S. West and two US, three U.S. East. Although, ping overall seems to be worse for everybody on Central surfers right now. So I think they're still figuring it out. The newest chat's supposed to be blocked at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> I think it moved down a little bit. I'm not sure why it's doing that. All right. We got everyone joining up, and then we will begin. Oh, Merc sighting. Fun, fun.
All right, Eli's in, and that's all six players. Let's go ahead and start. On blue, we got Gip Felly, champ two. Bulby, GC two. And Colin Bear, champ one. On the other side, Exonym, Diamond one. The Boss, GC one. And Eli, GC three. So you got two GCs and a Diamond one on orange. And then a GC two and two champs. Uh, this really comes down to how the diamond plays. Or you think it should come down to how the diamond plays. Sometimes it really doesn't come down to that. We've watched the two GCs on a team like this end up tying each other up all the time. Both trying to be that guy. The sooner you realize that being that guy is not a team effort, the sooner you stop tying each other up. I'm not saying that that hasn't happened in this lobby. But here comes Elijah trying for the double reset going for the early clips. He doesn't quite get that one. Gip Felly will take control. Good touch there from Elijah. Gets in front on the blindside challenge. Gets a clean touch out to the corner, but no contact on the ball there. Bulby will begin the push for Blue. They finally find a way to get possession. Orange respond with a soft touch in the corner and get over the first attacker. And Orange working effectively down the field, using each other on the touch. A light shot wide. They tried to hop Bulby's route. They weren't quite jumpy enough. Off the ceiling, barely. Great read from Elijah. He's got a read down the field. Going for the bump! The missile strike misses the mark. Exit him. Would like to create pressure. Orange moving forward. The boss. Big shot denied by Bulby. Stays right with him. Won't let the boss in for free. Light touch again. And boom down the field by Bulby. Been saying Bulby's name a lot on the ball. Using that big mark body. Colin Bear not able to get a controlling touch. And the 50 goes right back to Orange. Nice follow up from Exonym. Colin Bear wanted that boost. Doesn't get it. Gets some space. Heavy touch. And that's all he's going to get. Ooh, tough read for Gip Felly with no boost. Still, it does force the defense to respect Gipfelli's presence there. They had to wait, but nobody took advantage of that by challenging the boss. And they're lucky that the boss didn't get the touch he wanted out of that. Otherwise, Orange may have been in some trouble. Exit him. Keeps it out. Colin Bear. Waiting for his chance to get in. Doesn't have a lot of boost. Thought he could slow down. Elijah was plenty of time for him to get back to it. Colin Bear protects his own boost. Gib Felly moves down the field. Elijah took the midfield. Two on two in front of the net. Elijah puts it back over to the corner. Colin Bear meets him on the wall. Pushes it back towards the box. Gib Felly, he's playing super defensive behind the box. Loses his midfield. And it's cleared downfield again from Orange. Gib Felly passed to Bulby. Cut off by Elijah. And they're just not letting him have the space. Orange have shut them down. Bouncer, here's the shot. Big time from the boss. 150. Wrecks the entire blue rotation. Bulby, see him watch this one. Gip Felly commits early and the pop out as Colin Bear comes out of the net. He's not looking at the players. He's looking at the ball. And when you got tunnel vision on the ball, you're never going to get the touch. Minute 45 the remaining. The boss slowing it down. Oh! Ooh, the boss walking the dog in the park at 2 p.m. on a Friday. It, there ain't nobody around, and everybody leaves the path for the boss. An enormous fake. Got him on the 50. Minute 38 remain, and Blue have gotten shut down. Only one shot on net. Big clear down the field from Bulby. Only one to beat in the boss, but the ball is just a little too far ahead of Colin Bear. He didn't have the boost. Don't whip it! Gip Felly will take control of the ball. Bulby, who stole the boost, not as effective anymore. But he does get it back over to Colin Bear. This is a very tight rotation. Bulby pulls out wide. The boss puts it low to Elijah. No contact. Orange will be happy to kill time like this for the final minute. As Elijah stays right in front, preventing the clear. Takes the boost. Starting to star blue out. Gip Felly, he's down on E. Colin Bear had to back up Bulby at the last second. And will chip the ball downfield. 
Oh, huge big shot from their own team. Elijah almost helped Blue out a little bit. Bulby helps his team out with the big Merc boom. Down the field and into the net. The boss tries his best for the clear out. It all started with a disastrous touch towards their own net. Forced Orange to hurry up. And Bulby punished them at the perfect time. Everyone's still recovering on the rotation. Woo. The voice is, the voice is going today, chat. It's going. The boss with control off the kickoff. Heavy reset. And we'll drop back to Exonim. And stolen by Bulby. Does Bulby steal the game? Well, he's got Gip Felly behind him. Colin Bear also waiting in the rotation. Gip Felly's next up. Bulby rotating wide. Colin Bear, free touch, but challenged in front. It's starting to get close. Up in front, Colin Bear doesn't get the grab. Bulby puts it up over one. Bulby with control. Only one to beat in Elijah, but that's a tough beat as he gets a big booming clear down the other path. Colin Bear takes the boost. He's got a turn, but Bulby cuts. And I think Colin Bear should have been the one to take that ball. I think he would have gotten that touch. Blue are out of time. Bulby knows it big, but he can't get the ball on target. It rolls up the wall. Gip Felly to Bulby. No, Colin Bear has to keep it in the air. He's got the catch. Rolls it up the wall. He got the bounce. Colin Bear did his job. He needs some help. Bulby gives him the help, but Gip Felly's got no boost and he can't get there in time. GG's, give it up for all six players in the lobby. Close one. Close on the zero-second drill. Great catch from Colin Bear to hold that out. Yo, Slurpee says, this really feels like RLCS. Good commentary. Thank you so much, Slurpee. I appreciate that, man. I hope you're enjoying yourself. All right, we're popping the next six players in the queue. So close yet so far. Indeed. Indeed. So it be, so it do. All right, next up is not Squiff, Scythers, Kriz, Indigo, and ZSAD. Hit the ready button for me, please, and thank you. And let's get gaming. Perfect. I got all six players ready. Let's get right in. Lobby's up. Let's go. You're the number one guy of not being that guy because you're a team player. Exactly. Exactly, Slen. That's what she said earlier. My bad, dude. My bad. You guys can join your sides when you're in the lobby. I got the almighty pause button. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm trying to go deeper. That's what happens when I don't cast for two weeks. My voice is like, yo, come on. What are you doing? We got all six players in the lobby, and we begin. We've rotated through some of our first competitors. We got Smalls, Champ 3, John McNottold. <laughs> AKA not champ two and Psygoat champ two. So blue is a full champ two rank squad right here. On orange, we've got them almost scoring. But on orange, we have ZSAT champ three or champ, uh, yeah, champ three, Indigo champ three and Chris champ one. So two champ threes and a champ one on orange and then all champ twos on blue. Well, if you're in champ two now, it's as hard to get into champ two and stay in champ two as it was to get into uh, the edge of champ three GC one back in season 10. The skill level of the overall player base continues to rise. And that's after some hard, uh, hard resets or not hard resets, but harder than soft resets. Uh, John McDonald, Mac not, not told. I'm just going to call you not. Your name is not. Chris, not going to get there. Trying to hold on to the ball. And it popped up high. John McNottle. The long clear, but taken away. Bounce off the ramp. It's going to be for Blues. And Smalls can't come up with the grab. Indigo 
gets to move down the field for free. Uh-oh, dangerous pull, and Chris will punish. Chris finds his way across, and Zygo just could not get a handle on this ball. He sees him to go coming. He wants to get the catch, but it skirts off of his car at max speed. And put into the net, one nothing for the orange side. Scythers is at 400 ping. Oh my god. Dude had over 500. All right, hurry up and reboot. And then we'll keep the game going. That is an insane, uh, insane ping right there. Yeah, don't leave the lobby. We'll just wait for him to get back, and then we'll get going. Generally, I don't have resets for ping unless it's like that. Like 400, 500 is... Uh, you're not playing the game at that point. We got... As soon as he's back in, we will continue. Uh, we'll keep the score as is. So we'll keep the tie up. Said not anymore. Oh, not, not in... Uh, you're not in the server room anymore? You moved to Antarctica? Y yikes. He said apparently so. He's in McDonald's. McDonald's got better internet than that. McDonald's had last time I used a Wi-Fi at a McDonald's. This was, this was like nine years ago, so I'm sure it's gotten worse. But it was really good. I was getting like fifty down in a McDonald's, dude. How do you get fifty down anywhere publicly? All right, we got all six players in again. What's his ping at? Zero. Now he's back in the server room. Say it's bad. It's really bad. Yeah, I haven't been inside of McDonald's in years, so I have no clue. All right. Are we good? Oh, we're not good. Oh, that's going in. Indigo will fling it into the net. And Psygoat, you just have to play it out. Or we can try uh, to move you down a game and put you into a new server. It's just your internet? All right. We'll just have you play it out then. Small said to kick him out. Smalls bullies his way through two. We're not going to kick him out. Oh, God. Can Psygoat and his team beat the ping gods? Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. It's good, it's good, it's good. Wait, relax. Get out of the way, Smalls. Just back up. Half flip or do something. Don't keep driving. Orange. I know they can play with their food a little bit, but be careful. If you play with your food and it's alive for a little too long, you might get bit. And you get a disease. Then you die. Indigo. Shot out to the right-hand side. Too light. An easy work for John McNottled. As he's got the first touch and it pops up and into the net. John McNottled says, no, hi, ping. That's not a problem for yeah. old John McDonald. McNottled. I did it. I called him Donald. Then dying is, like, dangerous. That's what I'm saying. Your teammate bumping you in the middle. Smalls gets very upset very easily. I've noticed. That touch denied. Chris gets there in time. And Smalls trying to deliver it, although you can understand it. Teammates got high pink. Then you get bumped by your teammate. It never feels great. Boost update, yes, yeah, tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time in which we will be able to see everybody's boosts at all times. John McNaughtle holding them down. And looking decent so far. Saigo tried for the catch. Indigo will take it away from him. Loose ball. No touch. Nobody even near it. Z sat. Not able to push it forward. Indigo next up. He's blocked by John McNaughtle. 
And Smalls not able to get through ZSAT. ZSAT getting harassed. Avoids the pads. And, oh, everyone's getting bumped. Smalls getting back in time. Going to cut the angle early. Saigo actually helps out here. Gets in front of the challenge. And Smalls feathers the boost for the 50. Now it's a race to the ball. Saigo would love to get there, but he just didn't have the boost. And a big shot off the... No, he... Uh, what? No, oh, what? Okay. My commentary died because I was trying to not say crossbar. It wasn't off the crossbar. It was on target. He took the save. Chris got the save there. John McNaughton will keep the pressure up. And then Smalls comes in to dunk him. That's what I wanted to say. Hard clear from Indigo down the field. Is it? Will it be an RLCS? I don't see why it wouldn't be. John McNaughtle not going to get there in time. And ZSAD will tie it up quickly. With a minute five remaining, we're all tied up. Smalls could not get the clear he was looking for. John McNaughtle opted not to dodge. Thought he could get the low 50 underneath. But if you want to get the low 50 and actually stay behind the ball, you've got to slow down. Otherwise, if you're going to go full speed, you're better just flipping into that ball. Someone said it won't be an RLCS yet. Who said that? Smalls puts it downfield again. And chipped out. John McNaughtle over one. A bump in front. As Smalls couldn't get the touch. Z-Sad tries to punish. Denied by Saigo. Indigo up high. Couldn't get the dunk on Smalls. And they break out momentarily. John McNaughtle got the clear. Back over to Smalls. Uh oh, ZSAD got the touch. ZSAD misses the follow up. Chris will steal the boost. Orange still trying to create that pressure. And Chris pushes it down. ZSAD left corner denied by Smalls. Chris pop up air dribble. Bump! John McNaughtle! See you later! Chris opens up the gap with a jackhammer. 14 seconds left, and Orange have the lead. John McDonald had a farm, and Chris came and put it in flames. Thirteen seconds left off the kickoff. Blue, they could smell that kickoff. They felt it going forward to the orange half. Smalls puts it down. It could be their chance as time expires. Back to the midfield line. Indigo can't get there. Psygoat takes control. 400 ping hero. Here he goes. Zero seconds. Psygoat. High ping, no problem, 504, and a dream. We've got a tie game. <laughs> John McNaughton comes back onto the ball. Can Blue complete the comeback victory now at the start of overtime? They've got the pressure. Smalls tries for the 50. ZSAT drills through and breaks Orange out of a testy try from Blue on offense. Orange trying to stop the momentum. Indigo. Just a different shade of Blue. Smalls puts it right back down. Gets the bump! But the plow could not find its home. And now Indigo's got a free ball in the third. Can't make contact. Back to the corner. Pushed up. Downfield, Orange keep it up. They got the boost as well. Chris, hey, missed it. Oh, they missed it. Indigo got the 50. And the whiffs are contagious. Make sure you wear a mask. Otherwise, you might catch it. This one comes across and a little awkward. John McDonald's a little too scary for me. And somehow kept that ball out of the net. Very precarious position. And it goes up high off the wall. Z said no contact. Indigo down in front of the box. But popped up high by John McNaughtle. Cut off nicely. Indigo. Oh, the fake. If only anybody was ready for it. Tactical whiff right there. And a big boom down the field for Orange. Forcing Smalls to stay back. He lost control. z wasn't ready for the heat. And it stays on lock for the Orange side. Indigo. Not going to catch Smalls out with that touch. Sitting low. Chat, what are your overtime predictions? Give me the time. Give me the player. Now's the time with a minute 38 in OT so far. Orange have stuck it in the blue half. Huge touch from Indigo. He's looking like the biggest threat so far. Z-Set has to hold down the line after everybody misses. A high Bruh. ball. Free space for Smalls. 
He's got no boost. He tried for the boomer. He could not time it correctly. No whip it! Hard touch. Z sat with control. Got a little flipper on it, and it saved. Everybody panicked for blue. John McNaughton got the save, but now the blue net becomes closed. Smalls gets there just in time. And blue, a long defensive stand. About 45 seconds they spent in their own half. But it gets cleared down the field. Back to the midfield line. Blue couldn't actually set up a possession. John McNaughton gives him a chance to get reset, but you got to get on top of this ball. And you can't give Orange any more free clears. They've had so many. Smalls and Saigo end up getting in each other's way. Got to be careful. Saigo back to Smalls. It's wide open. No! Bruh. 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 Oh, he missed the Bruh. game winner. Bruh. It was over. Orange Bruh. now. Couldn't they punish them? Chris, he's going for the bump. The cheeky bump off the touch. No whip it. He said, going high, Bruh. going low. The missiles, they're firing. Max capacity in front of the box. Whoa. Almost got it. Indigo tries to get there. Chris up high. Z said, can't go. Indigo has to recover. And he pops it up high in front of the midfield. That doesn't even make sense. Who cares? Z said, has to avoid the bump. And it's hit up high Bruh. again. Smalls. We'll keep it down. And John McNaughton going deep. It's been an ugly game. And everybody's missing the ball. Everybody's panicking. El Saigo turns around and Blue survive. At the end, win the game. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Woo! The 500 ping hero. Psycho goes clutch mode. Oh my god, dude. The nerves in that series, in that game from everybody in OT. The gameplay just took a nosedive in overtime. <laughs> it's so fun when that happens, though, because <laughs> you really do not know what's going to happen. Oh, man. All right. We pop the next players in the queue. Let's keep going. <laughs> Why did I pass off one of your rank games as BVO? Oh, man. All right, we got Zenstrike, K-Flip, Leroy, Connorman, Crucio, and Plasma ready to go. Let's go ahead and set up the lobby. I'm going to set up this lobby, and then I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. So I will be right back. Be right back.
Look at you guys, so good. Didn't join your sides. Look at that. Let's go. All right. What happened to the what happened to the music? The music died. We got our next game underway. Turn that down a little bit. There we go. Sorry, I was off camera. What happened here? Crucio picks up the goal and got Connor Man deleted, preventing him from getting any kind of touch. And there you go. On blue, we've got Leroy GC1, Vadizen Diamond 1, and Connor Man GC1. On the other side, Crucio, Champ 1, or Champ 2, K Flip, Champ 1, and Plasma Champ 2. So the full champ squad, champ twos and a champ one versus two GCs and a diamond. Surely this favors the blue team. You got Leroy. You got Connor, man. You got Vadizen. Longtime players here in blue versus orange. Should be familiar with each other's play styles. But is that going to be enough to help them? Hard clear down the field. It might turn into a shot. That would have been cool. Crucio denied by Connorman. And it will slip out for Plasma. Plasma misses the touch. The Wifty Wifty turns into a K Flipty. Two goals for Orange. And probably the cringiest bit of commentary I have ever had in my life. That's not true. There was one time I said get wrecked Bruh. on an RLCS broadcast. I would love that. I would love if someone did a thread of my cringiest casting moments. I'm just kidding. I don't think I would like that at all. <laughs> don't remind me of my failures. Good luck finding my casts. <laughs> Dude, my favorite part... Is when people are like, oh man, I love when Jorby said that thing and it wasn't something I said. It was another caster. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get in there and correct some people soon. Blue. Holding on to the ball. Letting it come back. Uh oh, Plasma. Plasma! Plasma! He's too hot! Is he a gas? Is he a liquid? He's something greater. He's Plasma, the fourth state of matter. Gets the third goal for Orange. Yeah, that's the one you're not allowed to mess up, Coffee God. That's a sin. That is a literal sin. Get that out of my chat. Get that out of my chat. Your favorite Jordan casting moment was when he said the seven from heaven. Unironically, I saw someone on Reddit say that. And I'm like, dude, that was stumpy, bro. Come on. <laughs> Help Stumpy out. Wasn't it CJ? No, it was not CJ. <laughs> oh, Connor, man. Got to be careful where he's looking. What are you doing, Vadizen? Slow down. Wait. Slow down. Uh-oh. Not a good ball. Plasma? Oh, I was trying to get the commentary back in my voice, but I was too busy reading chat. And then I'm trying to suss out what's going on on the field. And I'll be honest, chat. I'm surprised. I thought that Blue would have a lot more pressure in this game. They looking pretty good on this possession. Vaddy's in. Ah! He's got to make up for it. He's got to make up for it. Tough catch. Good try on the catch. I guess I didn't need to yell. Oh my god! Oh! Connor man is so upset right now. Dude's thinking if I had the reflexes of a 12 year old, I would have nailed that shot. But now Vadizen will not get the grab. Connor man's got to get there. And the challenge comes back out. Connor man going for the bump. Forces K flip wide. Eventually does bump, but can't get the power. And Crucio down the field. Two champs almost got a fourth goal. This is two champ twos and a champ one beating two GCs in a diamond right now. 
Leroy and Connor, man, unable to get the synergy going. And K-Flip, he's looking to the wall. Oh, Plasma scores again! K-Flip into Plasma, and that is how you change states. Beautiful touch, Vadison just couldn't get a handle on it. And it goes into the net. No problem, only a minute 13 left. Just realized how loud the music was, my bad. Someone say something. This is a massive upset. Connor, man, got it over to the side. Vadizen not able to get there. Plasma back to K-Flip, and my God. It is not pretty out here. And Orange, they're in the ugly business. Here's Plasma with another shot. Connor, man, having to avoid K-Flip. He said, turn that beat back up. All right, all right, there you go, there you go. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I was digging the beat too. The Rocket League and DMB go to, go well so so well together. Big shot from Plasma. I think I may call this one. Leroy says yes. I need all three to vote. <laughs> Leroy says GGs. Connor Man said nothing though. Connor Man said nah. We play on. Big shot from Connor Man. He's got the Connor plan. 38 seconds. He says believe. Yo, by the way, if you guys want to check out some decent DNB, I highly recommend checking out Monarch's uh, SoundCloud. Monarch, you have permission to link your SoundCloud in the chat. We played it a couple of times on stream. Uh, and it's pretty good. Good touch from Vadizen. Connor Man knocks it downfield. Can they get two? No, they can't get two, but Leroy's got him. And now Blue, look, they can hang their hat on something. And you can hang your hat on this. You did not get shut out. All right. When you look at the post-game stats channel, it's going to say you did something. Everyone who was here will know what actually happened. But, you know, who cares what they think? Yeah, okay. My, my bad. You're right. You have a lot of other EDM stuff. But anyway, go follow them on SoundCloud. And uh, give it up for all six players in this lobby. GG's. Good fight from Blue at the end. Thank you for playing it out. Pop the next player in the queue. Uh, there's a couple of artists. I haven't gotten a chance to go through the music channel myself, but uh, we have a couple of artists in the community that make music. So if you want to see some, you know, local community shit, I think that's really cool personally. So we got Womp Womp, RC, Jake, Dusk, and Potatoes ready to go. I need Dreezy to hit the ready button. Also, I think that's the first curse word I've ever uttered on BVO in the seven months we've been doing this. It's a family. Oh, the chat's calling me out. <laughs> chat's calling me out before I even said anything. All right, we got all six players ready. <laughs> that's crazy. What do you mean that's cap? Lobby's up. Get on in here. What are you talking about? I curse during like watch parties and stuff. I curse during non BVO stuff, but during blue versus orange, family friendly. Yeah, I know I have before. I've said dick a lot. I feel like. I'm not going to complete the sentence I was just about to say. 
But I feel like that's that's a lighter term than most. <laughs> we got all six players in the lobby. Oh, we got RC, champ one. Fengsi, champ two. Uh, and Dreezy, champ three. Nice. We got Potatoes, champ two. Dusk, champ two. And Jake, GC two. Oh, of course, nothing, nothing but love. See what Dree's got on the pass. Back to RC. Blue. Start the game with a little bit of pressure. High ball off the wall, off the ceiling, and into the... No, it's not. Somehow it stayed out. I don't know how, but Dries puts it into the net. He's going to take a look at these Nats. They're buzzing. one nothing. Since the Jorbot started tracking, Orange are currently in the series lead 545 games to 542 games. Keep in mind, when we went dark last, or last when we went dark at the end, Orange were up by, my God, what a pincher off the ceiling from Jake. That was almost perfect. It was just missing a little bit of speed, but Potatoes peels them off the wall and just gets him a hefty scoop of starch. Orange tie things up easily thanks to Potato RC gets harassed off the play. Uh, but Orange was in the lead by like 20 when we stopped. Uh, or no, it was 20, like a couple days before we stopped. And then Blue came back and made it like minus 12. And now Blue are within three of tying it up. It has not been tied since we were at the 500 or since before the... I think it's been since Orange Eclipse 350 wins. Blue have not taken the lead in the overall series. But Blue had an insane day yesterday. And as you can see by the top bar, it's been basically even as Potatoes will retain Orange's lead, actually regain that lead. And a lot of panic here from RC on the back wall. He goes and takes the play away from Drees. And that's not going to get it done. Be careful. Nice move from Fengsi. We haven't really heard his name much in the game so far. Be fun for people to be assigned orange or blue and uh, cheer on their team. Yeah, I thought about doing uh, something like that. Nice bump. Good bump on the jig from Fengsi. He's just got to recover. Nobody else can go. Potatoes gets denied. RC can't get to the ball and Dusk will punish. So this one was awkward because you have who's back in net. It's only Fengsi back in net and he neutral hopped on the ball. Anticipating a high shot. Definitely panicked in that situation. He didn't have full control of the ball. But yeah, I thought about doing something like that. Uh, it would have to be something a little more organized, unfortunately, because trying to... I'd have to balance the sides, basically. So, like, neither orange nor blue could be too top-heavy. And it's just... Uh, it's another thing to solve for in terms of, like, overall balance. Oh, my. This is getting ugly for Blue. Jake comes in. Picks up this goal. Dust comes around, and oh, nobody actually covering underneath the net. RC had it high. Dries decided to get on the wall. I think Dries is just better served to just let that play come to him and go for the challenge from behind the net. Going up the wall, you're wasting time. And you're actually making it harder for yourself to make that save. Orange get another try. Potato scoops it in. Oh, potato, potato. The song is the same no matter which way you sing it. Orange dominating the pitch right now. 2.08 left to go in the game.
Oh, he's gone. Who left? I didn't see that. Who was that that just left? That was... Fanksy. Give me a moment. This is a great time to remind you guys. Uh, I don't know what happened yet. I am double checking. But remember, rage quitting. All right. It's a good time to remind you guys that uh, I do not tolerate rage quitting out of the lobby early. Uh, you know, these uh, these lobbies are just for fun. You know, sometimes you'll get smacked in them, but you're not losing anything. Uh, I understand that it can be really frustrating sometimes to play the game, but it is all for fun. And you're also affecting uh, the game for five other players that are were also waiting their turn to play. So my rule is first time. You rage quit out, it's a warning. And I might start taking the warning away the more this happens because people should be aware of what's going on. Um, the second is a one-day queue ban. Third is a week. Fourth is a month. Fifth is a ban. Perma ban. So it's about as many, many chances as I could give you. But there's not really much reason to rage quit out of the lobby early. I will go ahead and finish out the game. All right. Let's join this side. Uh, the overlay is not going to update. Just give me a moment here while I reset and we continue. All right. We'll finish out the game here real quick. A blue down a little early. RC almost got the second goal for blue. And Jorvi can't quite get a hold of it. It's looking a little... Oh, thought I could get there. Could not. Got the boost, though. RC. Pop. Oh, it was a good idea. No. Just trying to keep it away from him. We got it. And the ball's looking a little wonky right now. We're doing okay, though. Waiting for Audust to hit that. And now we take it. Oh, win. I didn't expect RC to go. But it makes sense for RC to go. If he's got the coverage, I should just stay in net there. I think I probably could have gotten the save there. That's fine. Why? Getting bumped around a little bit. Uh, Dust got there in time. Orange rotating back, but RC flips it over one. They can't put it in. A blue get close a couple of times. And Jake almost got it over him, but Jorby just got the save. And he needs to stick on the diamond, get some pads. Wait for this play to get out or at least develop in his favor. And he at least gets the neutral 50. We'll take the boost. Try to get back in time, but oh, Dusk will squeeze it in. And it's the Brazil for the orange side. Oh, Dusk throwing it in. And the, wow, he actually bumped him. I couldn't tell what happened. It was laggy on my screen, but on the replay, he bumps him out of the play. It looked wonky, but man, he got flung off of it. Got to play it low. That's a little too high. We got the follow-up 50. Just got to... Oh, Jake slowed it down. Fair enough. You see, even the server got confused. It wasn't sure. RC's got a one-on-one -on -one down the field. Jorby sees the way forward. He's really got to watch for his team. And there we go. Drees puts it in. The comeback's about to happen. Watch this. Five-goal comeback. One goal every, like, eight seconds. Dustin, as you can see, I'm very bad in the air. My ball going to kick hard. Drees over to the corner. Uh, Dusk denied by Jorbs. I just call myself Jorbs. 
I'm going deep to my own corner. I'm going to wait. I don't like you. Don't bump me. No bumps. No bumps. There we go, RC cooking. Potatoes going to be there. RC back. Oh, Dries turned around. He gets the touch anyway, and I ran into my death. We'll get that boost. RC gets the next touch. Dries is there. We'll sit in the middle a little closer. And we die again. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Leave me alone, RC. Put the ball in the net, please. And that's going to do it. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. As always, guys, thank you so much for playing. That was an orange win, yeah. I forgot what team was on which. Let me just look at post-game stats, and it should tell me. Yeah, orange. There we go. All right, we're popping the next players in the queue. Next up, we have Checker, Tom, Ionic, Iron Victory, Dreary, and Vanessa. Hit the ready button for me, please, and thank you. Well, I'm going to be doing a warning for a little bit because it is not something that I've had to really enforce up until now. So I'm trying to give people the benefit of the doubt there. All right, I'm creating the lobby. It is something that should be well understood, but we're also dealing with uh, people of all age ranges here, so we got to keep that in mind. Lobby's up. Let's go. Yeah, Corelli, we have to keep the stream family friendly for Corelli. No cursing or you're banned. Just kidding. We're not Blizzard. That lobby took forever to make, but we got it. Now we got to protect him. We don't want Corelli to grow up and, and be... Uh, we don't want him to be one of those trolls, you know? All right, we got almost everybody here. <laughs> Please do not corrupt my mind. <laughs> all right, we've got all six players in the lobby. Let's begin. On blue, we got Potato Soup, Champ 2, Ionic, GC2, and Checker 101, Champ 1. On the other side, we've got Vanessa, Champ 2, IVG, GC1, and Dreary, Champ 3. So a low champ, mid champ, and a mid GC on blue. And then low champ, high champ, uh, mid champ on orange. You know, very slight advantage, I think, to orange. A little bit closer in rank. The gap between GC1 and 2 is a little bit wider now. And I think you do see a clear difference uh, between your GC1s and your GC2s. Really the difference, at least for me, in the blue versus orange lobbies, the main difference has just been how well they can control the ball. GC1s are just as fast in terms of getting to the ball, rotations, you know, good speed, decision-making. Those are about the same, but you see GC2s with a little bit more mechanics in them. It's not true of every GC2, but I think overall... You definitely see that uptick between the ranks. And, oh, what a try. Oh, dude, imagine IVG hits him on the nose there. That would have been nasty.
Ball knocked downfield. Potatoes complaining about names being too close. Dude, there's like six potatoes that play. Your chance of queuing with a potato are high. <laughs> IVG, nice flick to get over one. No follow-up touch, though. Now, potato soup's actually delicious. If you guys have never had potato soup, I highly recommend it. You do potato soup with, like, cream of mushroom, and you're dining, bro. Checker. High ball in front of the box. He's flying in. Potato soup denied. And Ionic moving across. Two touches. Back to Checker. Checker. Denied by Dreary. And comes right back to the midfield line. IVG gets a free touch, but plays it quite heavy. Kills it in the corner. And Blue get a free angle out. Everyone respecting Ionic on the touch. Checker lets it fly, and nobody's ready. Meaning here comes I or Dreary. Yeah, Dreary I. I think I get it now. Whoa, whoa! Where are you going? Now you got to punish him, Ionic. Now you got to punish him. Bump him. He got him. Yes, sir. Ionic fires up the engines on this one. Gives up high, looks like a bird, turns into a missile. Ball cam off, see you later. Beautiful execution from Ionic. You got the space and they jump up early. Turn off ball cam and hit the birdie. Okay, I take back my earlier statement. Now that's the cringiest piece of commentary I've ever had. Your mom will get mad if you say frick. You know, it's a slippery slope, not. You know, today it's Frick. Tomorrow the R and the I disappear. And a U shows up for some reason. <laughs> Orange, no, the net was open and the ball hit up so high. And he couldn't get there in time. I've had worse. Yeah, we've definitely had worse. That scoots out. Yup, exactly. Guys, you, you've nailed it. Oh my god, Dreary. He nailed this ball. Okay, the carpenter pulls out the nail gun and finds the joint right on the edge. Beautiful reset. I think he got a little help on his flip from a teammate bump. He got some power on that. Beautiful shot from Dreary. And it goes down again. Vanessa coming in for the hard clear. And <laughs> Slen. <laughs> oh, man. Nice demo. Dreary. Low 50. Potato Soup gets there, and it's back out to the opposite side. High clear. Dreary has to stretch. Stay with it. Good catch initially, but you got to follow that up. They couldn't protect the ball. Now Blue flying. No, no, they're not flying. Everyone's staying back. I thought a shot was coming big time there. But nobody either. They didn't have the boost or they didn't have the belief. Well, they needed one of the two. Checker. Trying to slow down. Doesn't want to overcommit on the ball. Orange are just missing. Dreary with one electric goal. Unfortunately, he could not keep the wire. And it got cut. Here comes Dreary again. He spliced it back and takes the boost for his effort. Orange keep up the 50s and hard up on the wall, taken away. Ionic's got the clear, and Checker moves it back to the orange half, and Blue are big chilling, but no one ever wants to commit on this team. Potato Soup gets a high touch. Checker gets a full tank, and he keeps pulling off. Ionic's shot is too high, and nobody's there for the follow-up. Blue are just so wide on their rotations. How many open chances have they would they have had? Had there been a second man, but Blue believe in two third men. And that's not a way to win the game. Here comes Checker. Felt the pressure coming, couldn't move around him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sometimes the whiffs can work. Or they'll just catch your defense out. Dreary was hoping for a whiff. He didn't get one. Uh-oh. Oh, it's loose. It's rolling. It's off the post, and it bounces out. Vanessa comes in. No contact. Ionic was just trying to make his car big. Dreary comes across. No dish available. Straight back out into the midfield. Vanessa third back. 
and pops it across. That will buy plenty of time for the rest of Orange to get back. Great touch from Vanessa outside of the blue rotation. IVG with a great 50. Back hard wide for Dreary and can't put any power on it. He got a dunk anyway. It's off the post and wide. Potato Soup sits underneath it and a high touch again for Vanessa. Flying in, got the 50. Vanessa turns in, waits for Ionic and Ionic moves himself across, shifts like a snake through the midfield and got the pop off for the wall and nobody is there again. Blue haven't been there for a single opportunity. Orange have been allowed to survive. A failed clear. Here's the goal. No, denied by Potato Soup. Ionic moving down the pitch. Dreary stuffs them. And Orange simply will not let Blue through. There's another touch. Potato Soup barely got there in time. Another high ball for Ionic. Trying to move the ball down the field. He gets stuffed again. Back to the opposite side. We've had two overtimes today. This is our second. Both overtimes having the same amount of tension. First one, the gameplay decreased quickly over time. It was logarithmic. And now Dreary with a reset goal earlier. Can't dunk it in. This overtime hasn't been as ugly. But here comes Ivy. Gee, you can't get the touch. Vanessa was floating in the air. Not sure what Vanessa was thinking. But either way, she's rotated back into position and popped up high. IVG down the field, over the head of Checker. Potato Soup lasts to grab it, and he kills it to the perfect spot. Blue's defense simply will not give Orange the free space. And they get back to the challenge again. Potato Soup keeping the ball out for now. IVG weak touches, and that's been the thing that's killing Orange. The weak shots. Blue don't get the follow-up shots. Orange do, but Orange haven't been able to get any power. IVG... He's usually great for the power, but he just hasn't been able to make solid contact on his last four or five opportunities. One of these have to go through. Here's Dreary. Not a lot of boost left. Tries for control. And a good attempt at the follow-up from IVG. Dreary steals the boost and a whole 360 roundabout up in front of the box. Vanessa causing havoc with some demos, or some bumps, excuse me, and IVG will buy time. Straight back over to Vanessa. And I think for Vanessa, you just let it bounce. Once you ID, nobody's around there. Could have had that play. Dreary, back to Vanessa. Low, slow, Dreary, IVG. When you need to get the job done, you bring the steal. Vanessa gets it across. Dreary finds his way to iron victory. And Orange will survive and win the game. GG's. Pop of the next players in the queue. Popping. Reminder for you guys, at the top of the hour, we're going to be continuing our RLCS previews. Yesterday we watched, uh, yesterday we talked about Space Station and we watched a series from them. Today we're going to be uh, talking about Luminosity and then watching a series from them. So it should be a fun time. We're going to be doing that at the top of the hour. All right. We got four players ready. Shade Kami, Dino, Crazy Coltrane, and Slen. I need Devexium and Asda's Milk to hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. I've got to Vexium. Last call for Asda's Milk. All right, no Asda's Milk. We'll try him again later. Oh. Dude, this is such an ambient song, dude. I love this song. If you love this song, press one.
Yeah, Tezod. Yeah, Apex. It feels good. It feels good. All right, Crater Aid. You're going to replace Asda's Milk. Once you see the rebalance, go ahead and hit it. It's like Ambient Jungle, which is like the perfect D&B, bro. You got to go now. Extra alt, extra alt. Always appreciate you hanging out, man. You have a great rest of your night. Is there a chance I could review out of Jorbit gameplay? Yeah, of course. We're not going to do that today. Tell you what, we can do that after your guys' qualifier run this weekend. All right, I got Crater Aid ready. Let's go ahead and create the lobby. Yep, quals are this weekend already. It's crazy, isn't it? Lobby's up, by the way. Let's go. You guys know what immediately stopped my diet soda addiction? Frickin' Frickin' seltzer water, dude. Like, I have that oral fixation, you know what I mean? And just, like, the carbonation is actually the satisfaction that my brain was looking for, not the soda itself. I'm so happy about this. It feels like cheating. But it's not. Carbonated water is OP, dude. It is flavored, yeah. Some of the flavors are way more pronounced than I expected. This is black cherry. And black cherry is definitely the after hint. Dude, there's one called like peach balaya or something like that. And like it tastes like there's peach in it. And I'm like, that's crazy, dude. All right, we got all six players in the lobby. Let's begin. On blue, we've got Shade Kami, GC2, Slensei, Diamond 1, and Zavexium, Champ 2. On the other side, we've got Craterade, Champ 1, Dino, GC1, and Coltrane, Champ 1. A lot of our usual suspects we're seeing here. Good to see Slen back in the lobby as well. Dino playing again today. Crazy Coltrane having his first game of the day. And Orange will put the first shot on target. Shade Kami flips Dino's touch out. If you were here earlier in the stream, you'll know that Dino kind of cooked. I think Dino played, what, an hour ago? And the dude ran right on the entire lobby, and IVG wasn't done. They're gifted five more subs, making it a hundo 15. Devexium obliges. Thank you very much, IVG. Again, absolute legend. Devexium with a big shot on the near side. Crater Aid too far forward. Unable to do anything about it. Level up. Remember, you get access to the greatest animated emotes on Twitch and ad free viewing as a sub. If you were gifted a sub and it's about to expire. I do consider subscribing this Saturday after the conclusion of RLCS Qualls. And I'm announcing this literally right now. We're going to be doing a shortened sub-only blue versus orange day. That shot is high off the bar and put in. And we're going to be doing King of the Hill. So how it's going to work is basically we'll do the regular queue as normal. Four subs. Oh, my God. Devexium. He's slotting it. Oh, my God. Devexium. What's it, what's boy eating today? Why can't I switch to freaking Devexium? Thank you. Uh, but, yeah, on Saturday, at the conclusion of RLCS Qualls, we will be doing a shortened blue versus orange King of the Hill stream. So the queue is going to work like normal. But then the winning team, those three players will stay in the lobby. They won't be the same team, but they will get to play in the next lobby. I think that's the only way we keep it fair and balanced continually, continually throughout. And it does still give the winning players the benefit of staying in. I think it will create some interesting dynamic. We can see which players can last the longest. 
It should be a fun time. So if that sounds like something you definitely want to be a part of, consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll be doing that on Saturday. I'll post more specific times closer to the date. Nice move from Dino. Moving through at Crater Raid. And gets stuffed by Devexium, who's having himself quite the game so far. Great first half from Devexium. Solid shots. And up high off the ceiling, Coltrane looking for a pass and a good idea. He just needed a little bit more of that on Dino's nose. Dino had to stretch. Couldn't get a good touch. Now Coltrane's missed it. Chance for Devexium to take control. Couldn't quite grab the bounce and 50 takes the ball away. Yes, on Saturday. Uh, so I believe qualifiers begin at, I think it's like 8 a.m. or uh, 11 Eastern, I think is when they start. I'm not exactly sure. I got to figure it out. But basically at the end of that day is when we will do it. Nice scoop from Dino. Dino almost found it, but it's moved out to the side. Crater 8. Slaps the ball back, Orange, hunting, and Dino was ready for it. He's been waiting to eat, and his meal finally shows itself in front of the box. Craterade delivers it to him like DoorDash without any fees. Non-existent these days. Dino, beautiful touch, a minute 35 remaining. Hard touch. Shade Kami keeping control of the ball. Keeps control of his boost. And keeps control of the pitch. Devexium. Back over to Shade Kami. They lost the ball. And Orange is going to take control of the game. Or Blue are going to take control of the game. Excuse me. Orange lost control of the game. Craterade totally misses. And they're going to punish easily on that one. Yeah, see now, on an official broadcast, I could never say that DoorDash line. Because then they'd be like, what if we wanted to get... Now we can't get sponsored by DoorDash. That's not actually what they say. But you definitely would not say that on an official broadcast. In case DoorDash does want to sponsor. Whoa, Dino gonna score. Getting down the way. How did this one happen? Dino running, running quick. He's already downfield. A perfect pinch and he's just there. Bro's just already downfield for some reason. And I know that's what blue team are thinking. Why is he there? There's always that guy in your rank games. He's showing up for some reason. Can Dino take control of the lobby? Oh, Dino got the touch to Crater Row. Oh! Slente was harassing Crater the whole time. Devexium doesn't have the boost to chase. Dino will put it back into safety. Dino from safety and security to danger. He picks up the heat, Craterade, drops the risk, down to the box, no contact from Orange. Starting to lose control of it, but a bump clears a little bit of space. Dino gets another dunk, dude is reading every 50. Honestly, his teammates just gotta believe. Craterade, he's ready to believe. Full supersonic, back to the corner. Let's it drop, change of speed, misses the touch, tried to anticipate Shade Kami hitting it into him. But Blue retain the lead and pick up the last goal. Shade Kami comes out from the shadows and knocks him with the dagger. First with the hilt and then through the gut. Six seconds left. Orange just may be done. The Diamond Champ and GC take down the two, cha two champs in a GC. And that's going to do it. GG's. Give it up for all six of our players. Popping our next six players. Next up is Ethan Allgood, Apex, Caleb, Nishi, DS, and Monarch. Hit that. Hit that. Ready. 
Hit the ready. Hit the ready button. All right, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Next up, I got Apex, Monarch, DS, Caleb, and Nishi ready. I am just missing, uh, I think, Ethan. All right, Ethan. Hit that ready button. Have a little deep. All right, no Ethan, all good. Let's go ahead and take him out. Jider, Jider, go ahead and hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. Um, five demos and 15 ball touches. Yes, sir. Apex, Yin Chris, and Monarch versus DS, Caleb, and Jider. I just need Jider to hit the ready button. Where is the thing? It's in the active match channel, my bud. There you go. You found it. All right. Let's set up the lobby. We have three EU, but two US West and one US East. So we're going to stay on US East. All right. What? What? Achieves is no longer on POAP? Oh, no. I did not see that. I mean, obviously, I'm streaming right now. Um... Dude, that, that sucks. Let me see this. Dude. What? Oh, my God, dude. That's... I have feelings. All right. We're underway. We got on blue. Apex recovered. We're good. All right. On blue, we've got Apex, GC2, Monarch, Diamond 2, and Yincris, GC1. On the other side, we've got DS, GC1, and Caleb scoring off the orange. Caleb gets the nice goal from the midfield line and through the net. No one from Blue was ready for it. Again, GC2, GC1, Diamond 2 on Blue. And then GC1, GC1, Champ 1 on Orange. Caleb, Champ 1, Jider, GC1. The ball comes out to the opposite side.
Well, the weird thing is, if Poev got picked up, a chief should have been part of the deal. That's the that's the that's the weird part to me. If that's the case, Yin Chris up high, off the ceiling, almost found the follow up touch, flying in, big shot from Apex to the top shelf. That's only where they serve the best product, and Apex gives Orange his best shot. The first minute, both teams trade. Apex up high, misses the grab. Falling down with it, no contact. And the bounce up, Yen Chris with a light touch. Couldn't keep it going. And Caleb not able to get there. Got bumped off the play. Dude, that news seriously just bummed me out, man. Apex trying to get that going. And Yin Chris. Back over to Monarch. No, Monarch had full trust in Yin Chris there. But Apex has already recovered. Fine positioning. Just got to make contact. Trying to avoid Jider on the play. Nice from Apex on the fake. A little too jumpy there from Caleb, and he knocks it back to his own side. Got to be careful when you're rotating. Same side of the ball. Diaz lobs it back down the middle of the field. And so far, no one able to break through the hold right now. This is tug of war that Middle piece is definitely still straight in the middle of the field. No one really able to build pressure on one another yet. A lot of hard touches and hopeful challenges. But you're not seeing anyone create that opportunity themselves. DS tries to with this 50 here. They need a follow-up. Everyone's playing super far back. But Caleb's there to cover the hard clear. We're back out. To the side, Jider throws it back downfield. Monarch up for it quickly. Good speed from Monarch. Apex there to cover. And we're underneath the two-minute mark. Tied 1-1. Blue starting to get a couple more touches. A little closer to the orange box. But DS makes a nice double move and totally snuffs the flame of the blue side. Takes him 2-1 now, DS. Picks it up, Monarch thought he could get the boost, and he turns up a little bit. And that time, the trust was not warranted. And it goes straight into the net. Level up. Yo, Castle, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Sub for six months. I'm pretty sure you've used a Prime sub on me every single month, man. That's crazy. Thank you so much for that. Blue, tying it back up. We're looking at the ball. We're not looking at the player. You see Diaz get the initial clear. And then third man coming up. Maybe expecting Caleb to get a touch. Starts pulling up in Jider. The ball ends up behind his head. And into the net. So now Orange put back on their back wheels. Especially on the kickoff. Apex lobs it. Two in Chris. But no power Monarch. Whoa. There's a player there. No need to jump. Now it might be a breakout for Orange the other way. Apex keeps it locked in for Blue. Just trying to softly, slowly, carefully extract that ball out of their Blue half and insert it into the Orange net. But Blue have struggled. Jider was hoping for the chain dash bump. He doesn't get it. Yen Chris keeps it away from DS. And now Blue are set up. Caleb gets a demo on the back end of the rotation. Yen Kiss gets through, but Caleb comes back for the save. Caleb. Able to fling it by one Monarch in task to hold the ball. He's got it. Back to his teammate. Yin Chris forced over to the side. Full tank of boost to go. Off the ceiling towards the net and taken down. Monarch will stay with it. Apex. Good recovery on the wave dash, but nobody was in position. DS. Ooh. Tough position for DS. I think you just drill that 50. But it looks like everyone from Orange 
We're lurking forward. That was about 10 seconds left on the clock. Apex trying again. Blue have held on to this ball for so long. No one's there on the follow-up. He'll let it go. And Monarch will go for the boomer. A little bit of space afforded. Caleb gave up the touch. Monarch puts it down. And we've got our third overtime of the night. Or the, I think this is our fourth. Either way. Look at him go. Apex. Big shot, but it's too high. Jider doesn't let it come. And Caleb with the boomer, but the rotations. Love where third man has been sitting. No free clears. No free goals for either team. Love the gameplay right now. Oh, well. I think we cursed him. Jider running. Monarch, the last hope. Jider plays it slow and passes it across. I'm not going to lie. I think Jider had the shot. He saw Monarch coming. He wanted to play it safe. Understandable. But honestly, there's not a lot of risk in just taking that shot. They popped up high. Blue do a good job working together to break it out. Apex deep and saved by Jider. Rebound wide of the net. Yin Chris can't get there. Fakes out Jider on the flip but can't sneak the ball past him as he gets the ball to his teammate and Orange can survive for a couple seconds longer. Jider puts it back over to the corner. Apex delivers the touch, but DS is there for the clear. Jider quickly loses to Yenkris. Now Apex boosting forward, recognizing it in front. DS got the save, can't get his own boost though. And good hold from Orange on defense. Hard. Touch whip it. from the midfield. Uh, they have not whiffed it so far. Low. Dangerous. DS coming forward. Apex is over him. Apex. Going for the demo. Monarch following suit. Monarch looking for the jack, but Bruh. he couldn't get the knife in. And DS denied by Yinkris on the challenge. Blue keep holding on to this ball. Pass in front. DS got the 50. Apex stuffs him. Monarch hanging back his third man. He's got to buy time. Not the best touch. Kale with the shot. Diving to stop him. Jider. Flyer. Goal. <laughs> GG. Another intense game from y'all. That was awesome. Awesome game. Awesome game. I know the losers probably won't feel too good about that one because they know how close it was. I feel you. I've been there, but it was a good game. You gave a good show. Every time we get a good show, you did good. Next up, Imagine, Junior Coffee, Esperto, Ben, Powerful Lord, and Zod. Hit the ready button. So that was intense. Your heart was pumping. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we got Ben, Zod, Esperto, Imagine, ready to go. I need Powerful Lord and Coffee. Powerful Lord and Coffee. This is the closest you've been to joining a match on my stream. Today might be the day, Julie. All right. Replacing Junior Coffee and Powerful Lord will be Cat. And Dark251 Burst, welcome back to the stream. Go ahead and hit the ready button as soon as you see the rebalance. You kicked your desk on one of your whiffs? <laughs> That's awesome. I love that, dude. <laughs> dude, my favorite is how intense it does feel for a lot of players in those like really, uh, really tense OTs. And then we get moments like that where you kick your desk and miss the ball. Slend scores a zero-second goal and rips his PS5 out of the wall socket. <laughs> oh, those, those are definitely some top moments. All right, I got Dark251 burst ready. I just need Cat to hit the ready button, and then we're good to go.
It just feels more when you know people are watching. True. Very true. All right. No cat. Replacing cat will be the boss. You know the drill, the boss. This is basically your second job. Dude is here all the time. All right, the boss has hit the ready button. Let's create the lobby. Lobby's up. Let's go. You're looking quicker in that second game than you were in your first game today. The playing with pecs. The 13 minute OT, the 13 minute OT was truly a special game. All right, we got five players in the lobby. We will continue here as soon as we have six. You're praying for it to end. Somewhat score. All right. The boss has joined. V. All right. We got Imagine. Champ one. Ben. Champ two. And Dark 251 Burst. Champ three. On the other side, in orange, we got Zod. Diamond one. Esperto and the boss are GC one. So you got two GCs and a diamond on orange. And then an all champ squad on blue. Big shot to start the game and the boss takes away the goal. Dark 251 almost did it to him. We had a 13 minute OT. Yes, we did. If you were there during the 13 minute OT, press one. I touch. About to make all of you who weren't here feel bad. <laughs> Esperto. Keeps it tight. And a bunch of demos. But no dice for the orange team to roll. <laughs> yeah, fear. Now, don't you feel bad, buddy? That's what you get for not being here. <laughs> oh, no. Don't lose the ball. Be careful. Nice move from the boss, but it's back out to the opposite side. Just looking for control of the midfield. A demo to open up space for Dark 251. He slips through the defense. Imagine. I feel like Imagine probably could have hiked that over Esperto's head, but he just drove to the side of the ball. And he actually made it really easy for that challenge. And uh oh, we better get that. Rebound. Tough one to squeeze, and the boss gets there in time. Good positioning from the boss to go and squeeze that ball out. Esperdo has to turn tail for a minute. And Blue will hold on to the midfield. Do they know the opponent's ranks? They do. When you join the Active Match channel, it shows you the uh, teams in the rank split. So you know who's you know who's whose ranks on your team. Uh, but. We don't disparage anybody for their ranks. We're all at different parts of our Rocket League journey. It's the hardest competitive game in existence. Nice hard touch from Ben. Got on the dunk. And a hard challenge from the boss. Will actually stuff Orange. And nice job from Dark251. We'll keep possession. And Imagine puts it down. Oh, Imagine craterizes the ground. Is that a word? It is now. Got the follow-up touch through the first challenger. And then got a great touch right underneath. 102 kilometers per hour. That's good power. You know, it's always a shame that the, the really fast shots right in front of the box weren't from, like, a little farther away so we could just gawk at the beauty of the speed. 
Uh, Ben's just going to score. I thought Orange had it covered. How did this one get through? Watch the third man come through. Two touches out. We're driving, we're driving, and we're ahead of the goal. And, oh. That's why if you want to defend that, get behind the goal line. I'm telling you. If you want to defend that angle, get behind the goal line. Or at least swing out into it a little bit. And then you won't own goal. You'll at least be able to squeeze it off the post at the very least. You know, you don't want to give the entire backside of the net to shoot at. But you sit too far forward, and it's too easy to squeeze that ball by you with enough power. Yeah, what you already said. But everyone worse than me sucks. True. Dark 251 bursts. Staying with it. Oh, he was given the touch. And oh my god, that save looked way more difficult than it should have been. But he stretched for it, barely made the save. And all right, that's the worst engine noise I've ever heard in my life, dude. That doesn't even sound like any lawnmower I've ever heard. Lawnmowers have a little more girth to their sound. But not that. I guess there are lawnmowers that do make that noise, but they're literally the worst. And that just, my God, you got dunked. Oh, <laughs> first of all, why is the ball bouncing around for free here? Imagine uh, he's not the guy to look at replay. Thank you. Very cool. Okay. Well, we don't get to know what happened there. We'll probably talked about the new boost meta, but what do you all think about it? I think it's amazing. I see absolutely no downsides to it. I think the discourse I think the discourse that has been created around it has been greatly overblown and really shouldn't be discourse at all, but hey. Everyone will hold on to something to feel like they're I don't know. Anyways, it's an it's objectively good thing. Uh actually Fear made a good point on Twitter, funnily enough. Where if, you know, we had had this at the start of the game, ain't nobody talking about it being anything about the skill floor or ceiling regardless. And it's something that, you know, definitely, if if you had the forethought, should have been in the game at start. So, you know, it's like, it's like the timers argument in MOBAs when they first started uh, adding the timers after you defeated jungle objectives. You know, that was the big discourse is that, oh, it lowers... Uh, Lowers the ceiling. It's like, no, it doesn't. Big demo. Orange just put it in. They couldn't get there. Ben saves the day. Oh, when you need a helping hand, call Uncle Ben as long as he's alive. In this case, the rumors of Ben's death have been greatly overstated. It's very much alive. Orange trying to stay alive. And the ball drops in front of their box. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Next up. Are we watching LG versus Vitality? I was thinking we watch LG online. Since like the L like uh we watch Space Station. Well, I mean we only could watch Space Station online. But Luminosity are gonna go back to NA online and I think they're gonna I, I think it's how you look on land and how you look online are a little different. So I just want to preview how they're going to look online. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, Colin Bear, I got you. All right, replacing Colin Bear will be Scythers. Scythers, once the rebalance happens, get on in there. LG Vitality scrimming now? No, I'm doing a little RLCS team preview thing uh, at the end of every stream. So yesterday was our first team. We did Space Station. Today we're going to uh, talk about and watch a series from Luminosity. Just to start getting, you know, up to speed, knowing what we're looking for. Because a lot of uh, North America stayed the same, so it should be fun to go back and watch. Watching Space Station was uh, or really getting into the details on Space Station yesterday was eye-opening for me. All right, we got Scythers. 
We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and create the lobby. All right, lobby's up. Sneakers for Kenny. The tier one sub, sub for 15 months. That's crazy. What's up, sneakers? How you doing, man? It's good to see you. Sneakers, a true OG of the channel. He's got the VIP badge. Norby. Okay. All right. We got all six players in. On blue. Exonym, Diamond 1, Julie, GC1, and Jaguar, GC2. On the other side, Saigo, Champ 2, Norby, Champ 2, and Indigo, also Champ 3. But Saigo, the 500 ping hero, dude scored a zero second goal on 500 ping to put his team in a tied game, and then he scored the game winner in overtime. What's his ping at right now? 72. He's living. He's okay. It's about 12 a.m. You got work in seven hours. Just stopping by to say hi. Well, I appreciate you stopping by, man. I hope you uh, get some good rest, and I hope work goes quickly for you. And we do welcome Julie to the Blue versus Orange lobby. It's their first time queuing up. They said uh, they've tried to queue up a couple of times. They're not able to make it to the, uh, or rather the stream would end. Indigo, my god. The dude smashed this ball. Oh, jeez. Indigo's, Indigo's touches have been absolutely hilariously strong. That's not even his third powerful shot today, dude. Absolutely nailed it. Saigo gets another one. And Blue are being put on notice right now. What are you doing? They're playing pinball. Indigo gets a lucky challenge. The ball was knocked into him at maximum speed. Nice transition. That was good. Now Jaguar will protect his own boost. A little slip from Norby. Saigo will block them back out. And Blue will have to try again. Trying to chase down those challenges. Julie just trying to keep Orange out. And a huge touch from Jaguar. But it's a bouncer. And Saigo got there in time. Exit him. Missing the touch. Jaguar. No chance at it. Another challenge up in front for Blue. Well, they've stabilized. Now they have to punish this. The shot goes in. Jaguar does. No one from Orange could get this touch. And that's one you definitely have to put in the net. As everyone anticipating the touch from Julie, and they all get totally wigged out. Another big clear from Orange. Double commit. Does afford them a little bit of time. Psycho. What's going on, Blue? Blue keep giving up the net. No coverage on the net. We turn up. We're on the wall. We turn up. My God, no one's in net. Everyone's here. Everyone's looking at the ball. Nobody's looking at their team. Got to have your eyes looking around. Got to have your brain thinking about everything there. But instead, brains are only thinking about boost and ball. Saigo, so whoa. Couple of whiffs there. Indigo takes the grab. Blue. Oh, threatening Julie. He's waiting for the touch. Back over to Exonim. And Exonim gets there. Buys a little bit of time. The midfield boosts are contested. Norby just has to s slow this ball down. Julie gets another 50. Exonim floating. Reset almost. Dunk him. Jaguar will commit another ball to the net. And Blue are climbing up high Rothgar. A third of the way up the staircase. I got a long way to go. Two more. But there's plenty of time to get to the summit. Ooh. 
Not the cleanest there from Blue. Exonym also sitting on the wall. Jaguar's had enough of this uncomfort, which I don't think is a word either. Discomfort, which is weird. Uncomfortable and discomfort. Huh. I don't know the etymology of that. I'm curious about it. Exonym moving with it. Pinches underneath. Blue can feel it. They all start inching forward as soon as they win a challenge. Good bump from Exonym. I actually really like that bump. Better than trying to challenge Indigo off that boost. There's definitely some risk associated with it. If your team's not in position, if the timing's off, you could just get scored on and give Orange a free touch. But wasn't the case. The bump works out. And now it's a little tipsy-turvy here in the orange corner. Jag just leaving the play entirely. Indigo. <laughs> Indigo's having a great time. Nice touch from Jaguar. Good speed. Oh, my God. He missed the ball. This puts Saigo in an uncomfortable spot. But he puts it out to the corner. Jaguar wants another touch. And great job from Saigo keeping that ball close and on the edge. Preventing Blue from really being able to build pressure. Now Blue start to run out of time. Jaguar misses his flick. Good catch from Exonym. Indigo makes things annoying. All three commit from Blue. Saigo, high touch, tries to freeze the Blue defense. Indigo loses to Jaguar, but Norby gets the first touch off the board. On the shot. Oh, off the post, Blue. Get a fortunate gift. It is not 5-2. Could they swing it the other way? Jaguar, one touch. Here's the second. Exonym puts them within one. Blue, kill him on the counterattack. The bomb has been defused, and we've got a new ball game. What's up, W. Seth? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. You're witnessing a comeback. Down 4 nothing. Blue have crawled, or down 1-4, uh, sorry. Blue have crawled their way back into the series. Jaguar with the first touch. And the journey almost complete, but Julie can't hang on to the ball. It skips, uh, skips away from them. Saigo pushes it down. Here comes Jaguar. Over one. Jaguar off the corner. Let's it fly! Julie scores! The comeback is complete! Blue team climb high Rothgar, and they learn the Fuchs Rota! Right to the net, blowing Orange away! 37 left. Huge comeback. And now Orange have to find a way to hold. Saigot immediately challenged on the play. We've had some close games the last couple of matches. And Blue have made this one a game. It looked like it was going to be an orange pub stomp. Old-fashioned 2005 beatdown. But a high ball off the corner. Flying in. Exodent gets there in time. Jaguar trying to rotate back. Julie last and gets a huge touch for Blue. Breaks them out at the end of regulation. A demo to open up space. But they double commit. Meaning no rebound coming for the Blue team. Orange drop it down. And we've got overtime. Blue just have to complete it. They got to hold on. Julie and Jag move together. Jaguar back to Julie. Off the wall. Jaguar misses. Everybody misses. Oh, and Exonym desperately trying to get to the ball has created an opportunity. Indigo had no boost, though. Missed the midfield. Julie losing the ball. Indigo can't keep a hold of it, and it's cleared downfield by Exonym. Jaguar next up. High touch. Julie's committed. Julie off the wall, taken away by Saigo. Wasn't able to get there. Saigo underneath was looking at that boost. Thought they could get that bounce. But instead, Jaguar takes control of the ball, misses the follow-up touch. Orange might take control here. Indigo downfield on Norby. Norby high and taken away. Good defense from Exonym, but they need more. Saigo can't get the touch. Julie keeps him out. Next up is Norby. Norby through one. Reset. Norby off the bar. He missed, he missed, he missed, he missed. No way. No way. Oh. And now the challenge from Orange to hold the ball in the midfield. Jaguar. Can't get there. Indigo. It's not going to beat Julie either, but Blue's rotation stretched thin. Everyone trying to rotate back. 
That was a great stop in the midfield on the challenge. Here's the shot. Boy, the whiffy whiffies are crazy, bro. What is happening? Norby. Norby. Norby! Oh, whip it. Oh, it's easy pickings for Norby. Rolling through the old defense. Exonim gets bumped by the ball. And Norby puts it in the back of the net. Orange retain the game and win. GG's. Great game, great game. I thought you played pretty well, Julie. It's okay. We all missed a couple. You hit champ three potatoes. Well done, dude. Well done. Now hold. All right, let's take a look at the damage. Blue end up being outscored by Orange, 45 to 43. On the shots, Orange outshoot Blue, 126 to 121. 10 more assists from Orange than Blue, 31 to 21. On the saves, 61 saves for Blue, 59 saves for Orange. Blue out demo Orange, 47 to 44. And Blue slightly out bump Orange, 400 or 1415 to 1406. All right, guys, that's going to conclude Blue versus Orange for today. We're going to switch over to our RLCS team preview. And we're going to watch, uh, we're going to watch Luminosity. So give me one second while I get that set up. Remember, guys, we'll be live with Blue versus Orange again at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern time. And we are trying to do a little bit more uh, with the stream and vary it up. Uh, so we're about to switch over for that. Uh, for our YouTube audience, this is where the stream will end. Thank you guys so much for watching and following and liking over there. I appreciate that. And see you later.